All right, sound check, sound check. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, go ahead, Dev. Sound check, sound check, one, two, three. Four. Oh, my mic is live. It's really loud. Yeah, it's supposed to be that way. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that way it can be far away from you and you okay. don't have to scream into it. So I'm probably, yeah, I'm probably too, uh, yeah, I'm probably too close to mine. Let us know if you can hear us in the chat, guys. There, about that. That's uh, a little better. I don't know. It's almost all the way down. Really? Yeah. Wow. I it may not be... How's that? Yeah. yeah. How's that? Ah, look at that. Yeah, that's all. She belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. Black pouch. They just love them some blonde hair, blue eyed, pink toes. Pale skin, buttermilk complexion, ironing board backside, caucasoid mutinoid, white cave bitches. I call brother Myron the Sambo from Sudan. What the French toast? She belongs to the streets. Shout out to Adric Perez, says money on. She belongs to the streets. The black of the berry, the sweet of the juice.
fucking loser! You live in your mom's basement. You probably have a two-inch cock. You sound like a white guy. Uh, congratulations. For what? You say you got a girlfriend. You're probably a virgin. So, that's a no for Netflix and chill? Fuck you! So, I'm curious. Tell me about your show. What do you talk about? I talk about how women ain't shit. Oh. What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to the 824th edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of toxic masculinity and misogyny, a.k.a. misogyny. It is Wednesday, January 19th of 2022. It is good to have you guys in uh, this afternoon, evening. Uh, today is a very, very, very special day. Um, it is the five-year anniversary for me and Dev. Uh, Devin and I today uh, have been officially together uh, for five years. And the like most people know the story um, about uh, about how we sort of met. You slid into my DMs, and the you know we all think the rest is history. But I didn't commit to you right out the gate. Uh, we had sort of dated for uh, a little while, not exclusively. And um, you ended up taking me on a fantastic trip to Hawaii, which was awesome. Uh, we had a good time there. Uh, then a couple months later, um, I got news that my grandmother, then 94 years old, was being put into elder care. Uh, nothing hospice. She was just 94 years old. Uh, her independence was kind of, you know, going bye-bye. And so um, Dev came over that night. This is when we were both still uh, living in Reno. So Dev came over that night, and I was like, hey, listen, um, Told her about my grandmother uh, and the situation uh, going on uh, out there in uh, in Philly, and uh, I said, "All right, yeah, well, I'm I'm moving to Philly," and um, and she started to cry, and I knew I knew in the back of my mind what I wanted to do, but I just I just wanted to see what was up, and so she cried for a good minute and a half. She didn't. She just kind of you know whimpered. She didn't bawl. But after she finally sort of came to and, you know, wiped her face, uh, she says, so now what? I was like, well, what do you mean? She's like, well, you're moving to Philadelphia. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, you're coming too. <laughs> and she, <laughs> dude, she, I, dude, she, I think she gave me a black eye. She rushed in to hug me so quickly. The top of her head hit me in the eye. Um, it, it should have given me a shiner. Uh, it was never, it was never in doubt. Uh, it was never any question into her, uh, in, in her mind to re relocate with me across the country. I said, uh, hey, that's okay, you're coming too. And she's like, oh, thank God. And so uh, so five years later, um, here we are. So uh, your thoughts? I love you. Oh, wait a minute, say again. I love you, I'm happy to be here. Yes, happy to be here. Um, so um, in all honesty, guys, you guys know that I'm not the most uh, complimentary uh, person in the world. Um, the, re the only time I really compliment Dev on the air um, is really objectifying her. I talk about how nice her ass is, uh, how nice her tits are, which she mysteriously seems to be trying to cover up. There you go. Let those puppies out. I paid good money for those. I paid for them titties. Get down. Get down. <clears throat> but um, this isn't really something, uh, you know, talking to you like this really isn't my way. Um, and it really isn't. Uh, but I got to tell you, it's been a hell of a five years. And... Um, I'm glad I made the I'm glad I made the decision that I made to uh, to uh, to bring you along. It's been a hell of a journey. Uh, we've been through a lot, um, but um, I'm glad we're here. I'm glad yeah. that I have someone to uh, you know share my success with, and um, I'm glad it's with you. Aww. Oh God, here we go. Don't get used to it. I'm happy to be here, babe. All right, all right. There we go. Let's it's, not it's get. It's been to... a ride. It's what now? You said it's been a ride. It's been a ride. It's been something. <laughs> it's been something. So. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, Cigar Man says, big pun. Uh, yes, absolutely. Shout out to Adric Perez says, uh, my money is on. She belongs to the streets. And then, of course, there's the Devin remix. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> um, shout out to my uh, to my sniper squad over on the Sharp Stream side. Dre Raven, Hellfong, Blaze 11 Jonathan Vasquez, Malik B, and, of course, the lovely and talented Devin. Shout out to my sharpshooters. On the YouTube side, Dre Raven double dipping, J Blaze Eleven also double dipping. Um, let's see who else is in here. Riley is in the house. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I talked to Riley on my Instagram live. That was a lot of fun. Um, da -da 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 -da. Yes, the Kevin Samuels is going to be good. Um, Cigar Man is in the house. Good to see you in here. Wintrell says five by five. Okay. 
appreciate that very, very much. Yes, it is our, uh, it's our five year. Now, there are some in the Manosphere who would believe that this is our five year uh, wedding anniversary. Oh, that's nice. Yes, yes. Um, listen, I'd like to know. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That guy's got more. He, he's got uh, he's got more pressing issues to uh, yeah, to I'm worry too, about right now. I'm not now. too concerned about that. One yeah, anymore. it's uh, it's been a while since I've heard anything um, <clears throat> from uh, from El Presidente. Um, actually, you know what? It's interesting. My lawyer says he has he has a below average shot of getting remonetized um, just because of their pilot program. But he says just based on everything on his channel, he doesn't think it's going to happen. All right. So we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. This is what happens when you act like that. So uh, hey, we're just going. We're just going to play it out. So congratulations to you uh, for having lasted uh, five years in a relationship uh, with me. <laughs> um, yeah. It's uh, so 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 just just real quick. You don't have to be long winded. Mm -hmm. um, tell tell the people what uh, being in a relationship with me has been like over the past five years. Oh wow. Um, for the most part, it's been really good. It's challenging. There are no days off. And, nope. you know, just when you think you've got it, like, everything in sync. And all figured out? You got it all You know what happens? <laughs> no, that doesn't happen. What about this? Maybe? No. No? no. The bulge hurts, maybe? No? Maybe, no? Right. maybe figuratively, not literally. <laughs> Yeah. Ay, uh, ay, ay. Yeah. No, I think, uh, I, especially this past year, has been really stable as far as um, internalizing your program and, yeah, yeah. and kind of like getting rid of all of the garbage, bad habits, and yeah. things that, that I did have. So. Yep, yep, yep. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, and I didn't even have to do this. Not yet. I'm about to get us kicked off of uh, YouTube for that. <laughs> Uh, not yet. Um, <clears throat> let me read some of these. Uh, Malik V says, uh, happy anniversary. Appreciate that. Drew Raven also congratulates us. Uh, J Blaze 11 says, devs like my bags already packed. Yeah. Yeah, man. Um, let's see. Uh, is devs eclipse Donovan complimenting her on air? What does that mean? I don't understand what that means. No, I don't either. All right. Well, whatever. Uh, anyway, um, let's see. An ICU nurse, blah, 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 blah. My issues with Teddy. Uh, Genevieve. Oh, I guess we're talking about the uh, the Bachelor. bachelor yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so the Bachelor was not on this past Monday. It will be on next this uh, next Monday. So that'll be uh, that'll be all kinds of fun. Um, yeah, the folding chair comes out absolutely. Uh, guys, by the way, by the way, I am back on TikTok. I am back on TikTok. Um, so please uh, follow me on TikTok at Donovan Sharp. M C U Donovan Sharp, as in Men Centric University, Donovan Sharp N M C U. Uh, I've got twenty five followers. I've got twenty five followers uh, right now. So um, I thought th that was a Marvel reference. M C U. What would that? Oh, Marvel Cinematic Universe. I always thought it was Marvel Character Universe. No, it's Marvel Cinematic Universe, okay. but this is Men Centric. Okay. Uh, university. Got okay. It. Very good. Um, also, be sure to follow me on Instagram, guys. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I would greatly, greatly appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> also, be sure to get your hands on my newest free ebook, uh, 14 Questions She Will Ask on the First Date and How to Correctly Respond. All you got to do is go to donovansharp.com slash newsletter, plug in your very best email, and the book is yours. Again, go to donovansharp.com slash newsletter, all sorts of goodies uh, in that particular ebook, of course, uh, on the cover is the lovely and talented. Oh God, what was her name? Oh, the lovely and talented, talented Stacy. Uh, shout out to Stacy for gracing the cover. Of that also, if you want uh, access to my exclusive content, go to patreoncom Donovan Sharp. There you will get access to past shows, the archive, Sharp Shorts, Ask Donovan Q and A, weekend webinars, which I will be moving to Saturday. I'm going to be moving those uh, webinars to uh, to Saturday. Um, also, videos banned from multiple platforms. Access to Sharp Stream. Huge discounts on courses and much, much more. Speaking of Saturday, um, Elite Level Game is coming back. Awesome. Yes, myself and Coach EO uh, will be will be reprising Elite Level Game. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned for that. I'm looking forward to that. I always love those shows, man. Uh, you you really like EO because he and I are kind of the same person. Yeah, and uh, for, 
two different approaches, but same end game. Same end game, man. I find it quite funny. To be uh, honest. Well, remember the porta potty game that we talked oh, about? Oh yeah. Porta potty. Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, EO is a very smooth <laughs> savage. Like he's he's smooth, but he's savage as a motherfucker. He's savage as a motherfucker. Um, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> well, um, so we listen. I've got a dynamite show uh, in store for you guys today. We're going to talk about uh, a Reddit post where a woman who is past the wall in the danger zone gets the offer of a lifetime, but people are discouraging her from actually taking her up on the offer. Um, we are also, uh, what was the second? I always forget what the, what, what, what the, what the topics are. We're going to break down a Kevin Samuels video. Attractive 22 year old girl thinks she's too young to get married. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? Hold on. Let me go to the, okay. Let's see. Oh, female shaming language. That's my opening monologue. Never mind. But first, <laughs> but first, Jesus Christ. You can you can just tell we're just all kinds of. Uh, we're here all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll I'll be I'll be I'll be I'll be here all week. Uh, you guys know how that goes. Um, but I'm gonna start. <clears throat> I'm gonna start with what I like to call uh, the big five of shaming language. Um, I'm gonna be talking. I'm going to be talking about the big five of shaming language uh, for the next for the next few shows. Uh, for the next few shows, we're going to uh, because we're we're going to go back to the old school. Um, you know, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to be talking about this stuff uh, an awful lot. Um, anytime a man is accused of being controlling or possessive, or any of these trump card terms that women like to use when their men try to hold them accountable, men think they've been checkmated, right? They think to themselves, well, I don't want to be that guy, right? I don't want to be the guy who's the jealous, insecure boyfriend who projects his insecurities onto my girlfriend, right? I don't want to be the controlling or, or possessive guys. Now, these five terms, controlling, possessive, jealous, insecure, and abusive, those are the five terms that women use uh, as what they believe is a trump card anytime their boyfriends or husbands voice concerns about behaviors that are conducive to infidelity. Now, a lot of guys think, well, Donovan, how can I control my girlfriend's behavior but not come off as controlling, possessive, or insecure? My answer to that question is, number one, you cannot control a woman's behavior, nor should you want to. Okay? A lot of, a, a lot of guys ask me this. This is not what you want. One of the great things about being in a relationship is knowing that a woman is with you because she wants to be. Okay? Knowing, knowing that when she does things for you, whatever they may be, you're not putting a gun to her head and she's doing it because she loves you and wants to stay, to stay with you. No, this doesn't mean they do everything with a smile, right? Sometimes your woman isn't going to want to do certain things for you, but she does them anyway. And that's when you know a woman loves you, like anal sex. <laughs> Number two, believe it or not, guys, women love possessive men if that possessive man is a top five to 10 percenter. If you're a man who has this shit together, you're in good shape, you have goals, you're driven, you're disciplined, and you live a great life, then women love it when you are possessive of them. Guys, women love being owned by high value men. They always have and they always will. Being controlling is definitely a good thing. No, not because you control or attempt to control your woman, but because you control your environment. Okay, women don't want to have to do and plan everything. They want to sit back, relax, be hot, and enjoy the ride. Women don't love men who control them. They love men who are in control. Yes, there will be times when you need to dictate to your woman when she, what she needs to do in any given situation, but that's not being controlling. That's called being a man. And if your woman trusts your judgment, she will make the proper judgment, the proper adjustments. Number three, if you want to come off, if you want to avoid coming off as jealous or insecure, be territorial. I've talked about this in the 49 laws of Sharp. The difference between being insecure and being territorial is that insecurity is reactive. Being territorial is proactive. Insecurity is reacting after you see or hear something you don't like your girl doing or saying. Territorialism is not allowing your woman to put herself in that situation in the first place. If you don't want to look insecure about your girl getting hit on at the club, then number one, never take your girl to the club. And number two, you don't get into relationships with women who go to the club. Club. OMG, Donovan, you're so controlling and possessive, you insecure losers. I don't respond well to ultimatums. On the contrary, I didn't give her an ultimatum. Okay, I didn't tell her, if you go to the club, we're done. No, 
I simply let her know that I don't date women who go to the club. Now, if she chooses to go to the club, she then chooses to forfeit my commitment. That is her choice and hers alone. And this is the case with any and all requirements any given man has of his woman in a relationship. No. And listen, I want you guys to understand this. I'm never going to be the guy to endorse or advise men to abandon the pursuit of sexual relationships of varying degrees with women. But I'm a lot more understanding as to why a lot of men just kind of throw their hands up and decide it's not worth the trouble. We all know what it is, the cheating, the branch swinging, paternity fraud, divorce, EPAR, baby trapping. All of these things are very real and present dangers for men who decide to pursue women sexually and trying to mitigate your risk. That's a lot of work, guys. So while I don't condone just giving up, I don't condemn it either. So let's talk about the first shaming term here. The first one is emotional abuse. Now, emotional abuse is womanese for he doesn't let me get away with bad behavior. He verbalizes his disapproval and makes it clear through his actions that if the behavior he disapproves of continues, he will withdraw his commitment. Understand this, gentlemen, and I, I really, really, really need you to pay attention here. Women define a relationship as unhealthy or toxic when cheating is difficult. But when it is easy to cheat, that same relationship is healthy. Let me repeat that. When a woman is in a relationship where it is easy to cheat, she says it is, well, where, it's, where it's hard to cheat, she says it's unhealthy. When it's easy to cheat, she calls it healthy. Gentlemen, I'm here to tell you, today's women want all the freedom and the lack of accountability that comes with being single while also getting the commitment, the social status, and the security that comes with being in a relationship. They want it both ways. And anytime a man doesn't allow her to have it both ways, she calls him toxic. She calls him evisuba spelled backwards. She calls him oppressive. They want it, again, they want it both ways. Guys, these labels are shaming tactics designed to marginalize men who do not allow their women to put themselves in situations that are conducive to cheating. They're just not. Here are a few examples. Here are a few examples. Oh, did you hear about Victoria, about what Victoria's husband said to her? He told her she can't come with us for our annual Cancun girls trip. OMG, he's so oppressive. No, he's protecting his family by not allowing his wife to spend a weekend around men who will try to fuck her raw, then nine months later giving birth to a kid that looks nothing like him and having to support that kid financially for the next two decades while also living with the pain and anguish that comes with living with a female who betrayed him in the worst way. If a girl you're dating calls her ex-boyfriend possessive or emotionally evisiva spelled backwards, she's telling you she wanted the freedom of the single life with the safety net of a relationship, and he wouldn't have it. So here's your first lesson, guys. Here's your first lesson. You, you might want to um, screen cap or, or the, uh, the time stamp this, okay? Understand this. If a woman you are seeing wants to have a relationship with you, let her know that you have never dated a woman who travels alone or with her friends to party cities like Cancun, Las Vegas, Ibiza, or other party destinations known for the locals fucking the wives and girlfriends of American men. If this is something she is not willing to give up, no problem. Let her know that your arrangement will remain as is, which is just sexual without the commitment, and leave it at that. You're not going to twist her arm. You're not going to put a gun to her head. You're giving her a choice. You're not giving her an ultimatum and you're doing this indirectly. She'll give the message because women aren't stupid. Then in that same conversation discussing Victoria's marriage, the women will say, well, he doesn't let her do anything. Why is she even married to him? He's so toxic. You know, that's funny. If Victoria's husband were so terrible and toxic, then why is she still with him? Hmm? Oh, I know. Her husband is the kind of man worth giving up the single life for. Victoria's husband is high value. Ladies, if you're watching, watch out for these kinds of women. Watch out for the kind of women who talk shit about high value men who lead successful relationships. When they see that you're with a man who clearly understands that a woman's what a woman's true nature is and does not allow society to shame him for keeping her in line by doing what's necessary to keep her from self-destructing, they're going to try to sabotage your relationship by planting seeds of doubt about his controlling behavior. They'll say things like, you let him check your phone? Oh, he's so toxic. You tell him where you are and what you're doing? He's controlling. I know you love him and all, but you're in an abusive relationship. Understand this, ladies. The more, the more trash your friends talk about your boyfriend or husband, the more they want your boyfriend or husband. They wish they had a guy who keeps them in line. They wish they had a guy who demands their best. They wish they had a guy who keeps her relaxed by, by being in control. So they, so they tell you he's bad for you. 
Let's continue in that same conversation with Victoria's slutty friends trying to destroy Victoria's happy marriage. One of her friends will inevitably say, well, Charles never lets her go to the club, so you already know he's insecure. I don't know why she just doesn't say fuck it and go with us. Why? Because she knows what happens at the club, and so does Charles. So if she really wants to be in a relationship, why does she want to get all dolled up to go to a place at night with hordes of men around? Why would she want to get her hair done, get her nails done, slather on makeup, slather on lipstick, wear skin-tight clothing, and heels that are mostly seen on stages, then go out at night to a building where there are men. Well, simple, because she wants male attention and everything that comes with it, like free drinks, grinding on, gr grinding on the dance floor, making out in the corner, and getting piped down in the bathroom, that's why. But because they know that the guys who pound them out in the nightclub bathroom would never commit to girls who give it up that quickly, quickly and easily, they make sure they're not alone by shaming their boyfriends into being okay with putting themselves directly into the crosshairs of players so they can have their cake and eat it too. Women like they women act like we don't know what goes on in clubs and they act like we don't know why they want to be there. All men, unplugged or otherwise, know that females lack impulse control. You mix that lack of impulse control with alcohol, late night sausage party, and cheating is inevitable. Women know this, they see it and they do it. But if a guy has a problem with putting herself in a situation that almost always leads to infidelity, he's got the problem? Listen, ladies, we don't mind if you hang out with your friends. In fact, we prefer that you do because we need our alone time to sort of recharge our batteries. But what we will not condone is hanging out with friends and doing things that put your relationship at risk. You don't have to go to the bar or the club or to, to hang out with your friends. There are plenty of other things you can do and places you can go with your friends without exposing yourself to bananas and cucumbers. So here's lesson number two, guys. If a woman you're seeing wants exclusivity with you, let her know you don't date women who go to bars or clubs. And guys, there's no need to be an asshole about it. Just let her know matter-of-factly. I don't know, maybe the same way you tell her you don't eat bread with mold on it. So if you're out to dinner and she says, hey, you want to make this thing exclusive? Just kind of shrug your shoulders and say, you know, the thoughts crossed my mind, but I don't date women who go to clubs or bars. Again, if she's not willing to give, things th give these things up, cool. Just keep things as is and order another drink. That was supposed to fade out. Wow. Uh, so, Dev, what are your thoughts on the uh, opening uh, monologue there? It's pretty solid. I I think... Would you like to add to it? Uh, put me on the spot. Uh-huh. Uh, I think as long as those things are outlined in the beginning mm -hmm. and laid out, it's pretty easy for a woman to respect that. If she wants to be with you enough, she'll follow your program. I think it's reasonable to establish those type of things. I mean. Yep, yep. The reason why you gave those things up for, well, you never really were a club girl, though, were you? Uh, but I did go to bars and yeah. eat, eat yeah. stuff by myself. Yeah, you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's oh, weird. yeah. I can't remember the last time I went to a club. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm too old for clubs. I, I don't think I could. I don't think I could take it. Albert's choice, um, five dollar super chat says, "What's good, Mr. Sharp? Hope all is well. Stay blessed." Exploit, five dollars says, "If we support you on Patreon, do we have chat privilege on YouTube or Sharp Stream, and just pay my tuition? If you support me on Patreon, you get uh, access to Sharp Stream. Uh, YouTube memberships are a separate, uh, yeah. separate deal. Yeah." Uh, Neil Ray. Says uh, just bought Woman Ease Volumes One through Three, the free uh, the free ebooks. Uh, the first, the sixteen, the fourteen questions of the first date will help a lot with the date coming up. Thanks for letting me on your live too. Yeah, absolutely. Doctor Thunder I says happy anniversary. Uh, you guys are looking so cute. Looking forward to our interview on Friday. Yeah, we've got an interview with Doctor Thunder. Oh, on we Friday. do. Yep, yep. Okay, yep, we do. cool. Um, very good. Uh, oh, Pretty Boy Jeremy says, I took a pill in Ibiza, so so I wouldn't get pregnant, too, when I finally sober up. Felt super prego, but screw it. It was it was something, too. Is Pretty Boy Jeremy a girl? I don't know. I don't know. Pretty Girl Jeremy, you kind of sound like a troll. It sounds like it might be a song lyric or something. It sounds like it. You think? Yeah, sounds like it. 
That was weird, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, you, you know, you, it might, you, you might be right. You might be right. All right. Uh, let us go to our second topic of the day. So uh, Dev found a, uh, a Reddit post. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, crap. Oh, there it is. She found a Reddit post on red pill women. And if, if you think you know what red pill women is, I can assure you that you don't. <laughs> uh, red pill women is, it, it, it's every bit as bad as female dating strategy. Um, so this was posted by Maid, uh, Maynad Wannabe? I don't know what that is. Anyway, it was 19 hours ago, 19 hours ago. Uh, the title of it is in a new relationship that is moving fast, but I'm wanting to hear the red pill women perspective on my situation. I am a 30 year old female. He is a 58 year old male, not a typo. His oldest son is 29. I make 60,000 a year. He is a multi hundred millionaire who owns multiple private aircrafts. We met in the building where we both live. I saved up for years to afford the smallest unit. He has the penthouse and he paid cash. We've only been dating since New Year, so close to three weeks. We have said we love each other. We are making plans to pick out a ring. He says he wants me to have his baby. Am I crazy for diving headfirst into this? How would a red pill woman handle this situation? It's very tradcon. He works. I would quit my job and stay home to raise our hypothetical baby. He would hire a nanny. He wants me to start doing things like getting my hair done, manicures, facials, lashes. He would pay. If I get pregnant, he is supporting the child and by extension me because he would dictate where the child lives for 18 years. I am trying to insist on a ring on my finger before pregnancy, but not sure how successful I'll be there. What do y'all think? Um, the first thing that I will advise this woman is that she's doing it the right way. She's like, listen, I need to marry before I carry. Yeah. Right? She 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 understands, hey, you want to have my kid, but if if you want me to bury your child, you got to put a ring on it first. I agree. That's the minimum I would ask for. Okay. Very good. <laughs> uh, this guy also sounds like he does very well financially. Yeah, it seems like he's got his, his life together. Mm-hmm. He's already got older children, yep. and he's already done it once, so he knows yep. what he's getting into. I think he's not just go doing this on a whim yeah i mean he's 58 years old i mean three weeks is kind of quick but listen i agree when you know you know right well look three (laughs) weeks three weeks is quick but my guess is that she's probably very attractive yeah um he's 58 years old he's very attractive they both tell they both told each other that they that they love each other Mm -hmm. right um so what would your advice be to this woman before we read the comments here i would say I would say that she should be like open to this, mm-hmm. but setting the expectation that I don't want to have a child outside of wedlock. Okay. So, you know, and not expect anything huge, mm-hmm. but you know, cause mm-hmm. obviously it's not his first wedding Sure. and his kids are your age. So it'd be a little weird. So, you know, just say, look, you know, I'd like to make this official before we go that route. Mm-hmm. And I would like to see i don't know how do i don't know how people feel about prenups but she'd be kind of she's giving up her job and livelihood and you know basically going Absolutely. to carry his child now if she's ca- hold on if she's carrying his child she doesn't need a prenup she doesn't oh really the, well of course not the minute he puts a baby in her guess what whether he decides to stay with her or not He's oh, on yeah. the hook for it. I guess. Yeah, I guess if you have that much money, yeah. it's not really like that big of a deal. Where if he's making, you know, hundred thousand a year, then you really got to fight for what's left over. Right. He's a multi. He's a he's a multi. He's a, a multi hundred million. He's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Mm-hmm. Um, as soon as he and listen, I understand. I, I agree with you totally. Uh, marry before you carry. Uh, you want to make sure. Um, as a woman, you know, she has to make sure. And, and again, she's doing this for for social purposes. Hey. I'm yeah. not going to be carrying this. I'm not. I don't want to get pregnant before I get married. I want to get married and then get pregnant. That way, people think we did it for the right reasons. Whether they do it for the right reasons or not, I don't care. It doesn't matter. What are the right reasons? 
please define these right reasons. Well, the for thing me. is, is the only reason why you would get married these days is it's, to have a family. Is to, to yeah, to, 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 to have, have children. A family. She's thirty years old. I mean, if she's going to ha- have one child, she better do it quick. If she wants to have two, she better have done it started yesterday. I agree. So I, agree. I mean, she's you know technically very close to advanced maternal age at this point. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, I mean, if she's going to do it, this is a great opportunity. And what's the worst that happened? Worst thing that happens is it doesn't work out. She maybe ends up a single mom, but without financial worries to go along with that. And be, and why not financial worries? Because he's going to take chi- care of his there children. There you go. It's the right. child support. He's obviously yep. taking care of his, his older children, I guess. So, you know, I mean, it, she, her best example is to look at the family that he's established in the past. Okay. And if he's taking care of them, and that's when he was coming up, you know, odds are he's yeah. going to take care of the people who take care of him well, later, it's not later even, on in life. Well, it's not even an odds are thing. It's, I mean, listen, and, and uh, listen, you guys know that I am staunchly, uh, I am in direct opposition of unreasonable child support laws course, or child yeah. support payments, right? Um, you know, we've got NBA players paying baby mamas like $100,000 a month, right? It's ridiculous. I get that. But, but by the same token, I think what she's trying to do is she's trying to, I think she's trying to get multiple She's trying to get multiple layers of, uh, I guess, of protection. First, she wants the ring, then she wants. The, well, then she. Well, he wants the kid. So, so in 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 her mind, she's like, okay, if I'm gonna give, if I'm gonna give you access to my womb, you got to put a ring on it. I can't say I blame her for that, um, but I will. I will say this. I will say this. And uh, let's see. Somebody actually just nailed it on the question. Dre Raven says her question seems more like bragging. Than a yeah. question. If it is a question, it could be about because if they said they've lo- if they say they've loved each other, I mean, what's the what's what's the what's the problem? Yeah. Okay. So she could be like humble bragging, like I locked out. I got this high value guy who wants to marry me. I'm thirty. Ah, I'm past the wall type of thing. But I mean, first I have well, what example is that she barely makes enough to live in this building. Yep. So obviously. Like, she's doing enough to get by. I think that he respects her for you know looking good basically being where he's at like in front of her like yep. she's made herself available to yep. him yep um she's you know obviously not divorced or already has kids so i mean if you're gonna go for it go for it there's never gonna be a perfect situation where you find the guy you're <clears throat> dating for four years mm-hmm. you get married you wait two years then you have your first kid by that point she's going to be 36 years old like this isn't i have a correction there's never going to be a better situation that's what i'm thinking this is a listen this is a once in a lifetime opportunity that this woman is getting worst case scenario he knocks her up and then and then he and then he ghosts her guess what he's still going to be on the hook for the child support for for 18 years I don't know what the risk not is. Only, yeah, not only that, the baby's not the worst thing that can happen to you. I well, mean, yeah, another ch- another father. She's thirty years child. old. If she was if she was nineteen, it would be worse, you know. But why would that be worse? If she was nineteen, like and she got knocked up and then dumped. Child support, sweetheart. Yeah, but as for her future dating prospects. <laughs> look! 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 Check this out. When I dated Amy, Amy was a dude. Amy was a solid nine out of ten. Like this girl was hot, had the body of a young woman. Why at nineteen? Why? Because she had a kid at thirteen. Her body recovered very, very quickly. If a nineteen-year-old girl has a kid, she's gonna get that. She's gonna get that body back. The older you have a kid, the the the, the it, not to say that pregnancy doesn't ravage a woman's body, but the younger you are, the 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 quicker it snaps back. Okay. And if a girl is young and high, listen, there are men who will wife, well, not really wife, but there are high value men that will deal with single mothers. Maybe they won't wife them up, but you know. Yes. Yes. I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you're 21, right, and you mm-hmm. have, you have a three-year-old. Okay. Because okay, you got married and divorced okay. within a year. Gotcha. And this guy was rich, whatever. So you're not hurting for money, but now, you know, you're still, still quite young, mm-hmm. but a lot of these higher value guys are going to want to deal with a young person with a child, yep. with a three year old. Whereas if, you know, if you're 35, you now you're you're looking towards men who maybe aren't as high value because you've got you've got that that six year old or eight year old or whatever, and it's high value to you, but not what you would possibly get when you were 19, 20. You know, mm-hmm. but 
at that point, they're not looking to have kids with you. Right. So right. the the kid isn't, uh, you know, you know, it's, it's not I like it's not like people are starting to start a family from a blank slate. Listen, at I think that age. I know what you're saying, but you're doing exactly what the women on Kevin Samuel's show does. What if something happens? Let's just say she marries okay. this she marries this guy. She gets knocked up. What if something happens? What if something happens? Well, what if she decides to pass <laughs> up this opportunity and another 30-year-old smoke show comes along and everything works out correctly? Yeah. Listen, man, you cannot come at relationships uh, from a standpoint of fear, scarcity, and lack. Listen, man, he's he's taken some risk, too. He's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. How do we know she's not a gold digger? How do we know? How do we know he's not the one who wants to get married, but she's the one who's saying, listen, if we're going to get married, you need to put a baby in me. To, to get me secure. That's probably why she hasn't mentioned the prenup because a baby supersedes the prenup. I, yeah, I guess so, yeah. So anytime, anytime we talk about situations like this, there's always the possibility of what if, but you cannot approach, hang on, you can't approach relationships there we are you can't approach relationships from that standpoint there's always there's always a chance that things could yeah, go there are sideways. no guarantees no matter right. how long you're together you or go. how much backstory or whatever there is to the story i i can already tell the the women are going to be like oh my god you can't give up your sixty thousand dollar a year job yeah to right shack up with a guy rich guy that you just met because what if he leaves you like i can already see the what ifs you know, playing well, out. It's like, okay, or, hey, you know, or you could, maybe you just won the lottery and you better take it while you got the strike while the iron's hot. Well, let's see what the comments say. Oh, here we go. No way. Honestly, three weeks is so rushed. If one of your friends told you this, you wouldn't be concerned. Having a child and thinking of such things within a three weeks of dating this guy, have you been through hardship with him or enough time that you know you can trust this person? I really hope you're not seriously considering this so soon. A child is a huge responsibility, and putting your life and financial security in the hands of a man you've known for three weeks is an awful decision. Give it a little more time, please. Hopefully he can understand. No, where she is wrong is she's not putting her life and financial security uh, in the hands of a man. She's putting it into the court system. For the minute she pisses a plus sign, she owns him. She she owns him. Listen, again, worst case scenario, if he if, as, as soon as she pisses a plus sign, he's like, you know what, fuck it, it's not gonna work out. He's still gonna be on the hook for child support. That I mean, I mean, see, this woman is like, I wish you would, I wish give it a little more time. How many fifty-eight-year-old fucking millionaires are out here looking for thirty-year-olds looking to put babies? Yeah, in? and looking for like they've got a lot of time on there. That's what I'm saying. Like the dude is fifty <laughs> fucking eight years old. He's almost at retirement age. Of course, he's gonna act with urgency. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Give it a little more time, bitch. I'm fifty-eight. I ain't got that kind I mean, of time. Either that or he's hiding his crazy. You know. <laughs> But she hey, could be hey, too. Hey, listen, listen. Let's just say he was hiding his crazy. Mm -hmm. Would you rather get with a crazy guy making sixty k a year or a crazy guy <laughs> worth six hundred million? Yeah, you got okay, a point. Okay, well there we go. Uh -huh. There we go. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Ozzy Dolphy says, "What's the rush?" Um, I'm gonna speak as the guy. What's the rush? I'm fifty eight fucking years old, and she's thirty. Dude, her womb is still fresh ish. Assuming she doesn't have any other kids. Any look again? What's the rush? These women are coming at this from a position of abundance. They right. think that there are 58-year-old millionaires lining up to marry this bitch. No. Uh-uh. This dude is giving her, dude, this dude is giving her a lottery ticket. Mm -hmm. He said, look, chick, I'm worth hundreds of millions of dollars a year. All right? I'll put a ring on it, whatever you want to do. I want to have, you know, listen, I want to put a baby in you. That's security right there, man. Yeah. Um, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Rosa, how many other kids does he have? What's his relationship with them like? The wanting to knock you up right away thing is very odd. Why is that odd? The man is 58. He ain't got that kind of he ain't got that kind of time. Maybe they're just used to men who fear fatherhood or fear getting women knocked up. They think there's something wrong with this guy for wanting to get a woman pregnant. Right, but consider his age. Yeah. He's 58. He's got a mate. All he's got left is his legacy. Yes, exactly. What's the problem? She says, I get the kind of vibe that he's the kind of person who feels they can do anything they want if they pay. So he's just assuming you'll go along with it for the support yeah. aspect. Well, guess what? What if he is? What if he is assuming you'll go along with it for the support aspect? What is he just want? So what is he trying to knock this bitch up as a joke? Ha ha! You're pregnant with my kid, and now I'm not gonna take care of you. Like, what are we doing? 
which if you're willing to take on risk on this relationship for that support for you and your child, that's up to you. What risk is there? What court in America is not going to award this woman child support if a man worth hundreds of millions of dollars decides to abscond? Well, I mean, no woman wants to have a child and not have the family structure there. Yet, Devin, they do it every day. Yeah, that's true. This woman has a chance to be a baby mama to a multimillionaire. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what the problem is. I really don't. I mean, you want that traditional relationship. You're going to have to make those traditional sacrifices. Um, <clears throat> women have certainly risked more for less. <laughs> They've risked more for less. This is exactly what you just said. They have risked more for less money. No, she's not. She's not risking anything. Mm -hmm. She's she gets to she gets to have a child. And possibly a great relationship, but if it doesn't work out, she's still got the money. I don't. I don't understand. I don't understand what the problem is. Yeah, it's not, she's not going to be in a bread line anytime soon. Yeah, right. Uh, just going with your eyes wide open to the reality of the situation. Yes, go with your eyes in wide open to the reality of the situation. In that you are never, ever, ever going to have a multi-millionaire worth hundreds of millions of dollars offer you the golden ticket of his sperm. These women are, dude, these women are, are, are the people commenting here. They're acting like there, there are a hundred multimillionaires all over the place. Well, maybe you should just slow down and wait for the next one. If he's not so creepy, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. This sounds like a lot of love bombing and it's possible that things could change quickly or dramatically between you. If this is how intense it is to start, don't let him steamroll your boundaries either. Oh boy. This is, this again is this woman. Th this 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 commenter is acting like this woman has the leverage, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something else. If this 30 year old female doesn't take him up on the offer, I, I I can assure you that there are plenty that will. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she already said that they're gonna go ring shopping, so I'm pretty sure the the engagement's on the table. I agree. Um, she says if you want to get married before you have before kids, make sure that happens before you get pregnant. What difference does it make? What difference does it make? You know, he might want to f make sure that they're fertilely compatible before he puts a ring on it. I mean, if he wants to have a baby well, by her, maybe. Yeah, well, I mean, or get her pregnant and then get married. Yeah, right. All right. I would wait a little longer until getting engaged, uh, until getting engaged at the very least three months. What's that going to do? It's not going to do again. You want <sighs> these women, all of these answers, all of these answers lead me to believe that these women think that she's going to be getting these offers forever. Might I remind you, this woman is 30 years old. She's not 20. Mm -hmm. If she were a 20 year old smoke show, well, at that point, if the guy is 60, okay, I'm telling her, okay, listen, you're probably not going to get this offer again, but your chances are a lot better at 20 than 30. Am I wrong? Mm -mm. Ay, ay, ay. Um, if he makes you sign anything like an NDA or prenup, <laughs> make sure you have a lawyer read it. I'm sorry. So now we're acting. So so now she's already acting. This commenter is already acting like she has some. She's entitled to something, bitch. She's not entitled to shit. She she's only entitled to she's only entitled to anything. Un, uh, she's only entitled to anything when he puts a baby in her. That's it. Um, this is funny. Uh, I would sniff out any red flags if there are any before proceeding. Maybe find out about how his past relationship ended. Just wait and see how it goes. Again, Devin. Again, Devin, how, what are the odds? What are the, these women are acting like she's going to have, well, so, well, well, what if his last relationship ended under suspicious circumstances? What are you going to do? Just walk off? What is, what he cheated on her? Big fucking deal. The I guy's mean, worth she six, died under su suspicious circumstances. Maybe she well, got that pushed would be, down that a would, stairwell or yeah, something. Yeah, Drew Peterson. Now that would be a red flag. That would be a red flag. Yeah. Outside of that. Okay. Well, I've heard he's kind of crazy or he's, guess what? There are many, many men who are crazy. There aren't too many men who are crazy who are also worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And I'll dollars. tell you what, you'll put up with a lot of crazy for a comfortable lifestyle. Just like men would put up with a lot of crazy to to have a, a, a physical specimen, young physical specimen at her side. I wouldn't know anything about putting up with crazy. At his side. Well... <laughs> 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 yeah, I I, I, uh, I guess you wouldn't. Uh, exploit. Welcome. Ooh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. Welcome to uh, Chat Privileges. Uh, at exploit to welcome him to the TSR family. Let's go ahead and get an age and location check uh, going on here in the chat. 
Uh, Uncle Luke <laughs> says, I'm more concerned with why he is giving her such a good deal. Who cares? <laughs> who gives a shit? I mean, I, 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 who cares? I'm not concerned with it, right? I'm not concerned with it. Oh, by the way, Dre Raven says he's a millionaire. They're not called crazy. They're called eccentric. <laughs> oh, yes. Good point. Yes, that's a very good point. Uh, Cigarman85, this is a good $5 super chat. He said, it's funny who these women complain about three weeks with a high-value man, but the same women will get knocked up in a club with a guy they never know. Do you see how ass-fucking-backwards this is? Mm -hmm. How many times has this 30-year-old had unprotected sex with pick-a-random guy? Now you have a dude where you can actually get essentially paid for your troubles and now you're going to red pill women to find out if it's to find out if it's okay well god forbid you get everything you want yeah all right because these women just sound like haters man i think they're haters but these women also assume i think that's what it is i think they maybe get the idea that she's humble bragging yeah and uh they're they're just like yeah you know what i would wait if i were you so like this is why i would I've been banned from this subreddit. So oh yeah, times. Devin's been banned. Yeah, yeah. Is yeah. I would I would just be like, lock that down. Yeah, you know? lock it down. Like, what do you, What do you have to lose? <laughs> that's not. And then it would be like, that's not uh, red pill advice, you know. And hmm. right. <laughs> of course not. Yeah, there's like a whole sidebar that's like you have to follow all these rules, but none of this advice follows any of the no, rules. No, none of it does. Um, they just red pill women is just another copycat, just like that womanosphere. Um, let's see. Sounds like a narcissist or a sociopath. Oh. So I'd be careful with that. No, Nar rich narcissists and sociopaths are eccentric, right? Sir Richard Branson. It's a lot of name calling for a nice gentleman who wants to do her, get her hair done, her nails done. And Dude, he's offering her the hire life. a nanny and take her on a private plane. Unbelievable. He says, listen, man, provide me with a kid. Mm -hmm. Okay. You will never want for nothing. You'll live. You'll live a luxurious life. Hair done, nails done, whatever plastics are. Dude, like he's giving her. Like this is Charlie's golden ticket to the fucking chocolate. I'll factory. tell you what. At sixty k a year, she can only afford to get her nails Shit. done like once a month. Maybe her if hair that, done every three months. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. This is, yeah, yeah. This is this is this is. Yeah. Nuts. So what else have we got? Uh, I'd also uh, suggest to establish your own boundaries or will like. <laughs> Like example, three months and marriage, then we can try. This yeah. woman is acting okay. This woman is thirty years old. She doesn't have that kind of fucking leverage. See what these women are suggesting? They're giving a woman advice who has leverage. Let's just say this girl were nineteen years old. Guess what? The fifty-eight-year-old rich guy still has the fucking leverage <laughs> because how many, how many hundreds, how many men worth hundreds of millions of dollars are going to offer a woman of any age that deal? Mm. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jesus Christ! Ay ay ay. Uh, my great grandma always told me it's way easier to fall in love with a rich man than a poor man. Well, yes, of course. Uh. I'll read a couple more here. You're making plans to pick out a ring, but don't think you'll get it on your finger before you're pregnant. On all, all this after three weeks, run. Run very far away. None of these bitches would follow any of this advice. Yeah, run away from the guy worth hundreds of millions of dollars, two private jets, who actually wants to give you the golden ticket. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Finally. Oh, this is the this the original is the original poster. poster yeah. Says, I mean, I don't think it'd be the worst thing to get pregnant with him, regardless of marital status. The baby and I would be supported even if the relationship fell apart. It sounds like she's already made her decision, Dev. Yeah, she's just looking for approval. Yeah, and she ain't gonna get it. Not she here. says, regardless of marital. No, hell no, not at Red Pill Women. Oh, this <laughs> which is, is funny. Which is, you would think. That this is the subreddit where, you know, people come to start families and be taken care of and have traditional gender roles. No, 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 no. This has messy red flags all over it. Yes, this has messy red flags all over it. Not trying to offend you, but at 58, you're not the first or last woman he's done this to. Okay, so let's just say, let's just say this person is right. Who cares? Oh my God. This man worth $754 million has two other women he has babies with. Who cares? Unfucking believable. Look at this. 
that he's done this too, as if he is doing this to her against her will, as if she as if she's not getting anything out of the deal. These fucking bitches. Um Oh, this is funny. Definitely he's going to suck your energy, hopes, and dreams and spit them out. I don't know how or when, but I'd run the other way. This has shady written all over it. Maybe he wants you to inherit his debt or something heinous. What? Oh, my God. Like, if he wasn't rich and had all that crap apparently care so much, would you be moving along so quickly? Of course not. Of course you wouldn't be moving this quickly. Check your greed and get your priorities. Oh, wow. This is all shaming language. You can tell this person is under 25 just uh, by the yes. way that they type. Yeah, and they are. Yes, of course. Uh, get your. I have found that 99.9% .9 feeling he's told you all these sweet nothings in exchange for sex with you. That's what his type do, do. Flash the money and wealth in exchange for sex with young women. You know, it's interesting. Oh, yeah. She's also. Uh, no, 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 no. Shh, 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 stop, 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 stop. Let me read that. Let me read that one more time. Okay. He's told you all of these sweet nothings in exchange for sex with you. That's what his type do. Flash the money and wealth in exchange for sex with young women. Let me let you in on a little secret, paramedic capable 6484. Women do the same goddamn thing. The way wealthy men flash their wealth and all their toys to have sex with pretty young women, pretty young women flash their asses and tight little bodies in exchange for the lifestyle and the toys. Right? So it's exploitation when old rich guys fuck young women for to, to, to be on the yacht. But when sugar sites and when women finesse men, no, that's okay. Do you see the hypocrisy here? She's 30. She's not that young. Right. He's doing her a favor. Dude, this man is, oh my God. This woman has the golden fucking ticket. Hell yeah. She's 30 years old, unmarried, no kids, and has a multi... Dude, he's going to die before she is, so she'll get to enjoy most of the money by herself. Hell yeah. I mean, what, he's 58? He'll be retired in seven years? Be retired in seven years? He'll live the world and Jeez. raise a kid on a yacht. You know what I think about this? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What happened to all oh, man, hate, hate, hate? I need to get that. Oh, uh, man. Hate, oh, hate, man. Hate, 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 hate. Oh, boy. Then we get a life story. Yeah, I don't, I don't need the yeah. life story, yeah. Fuck away. Fuck, fuck that. Fuck that. Um, yeah, I think it's um, I think it's pretty. But but th the reason I decided the reason I wanted to, to, to read that Reddit post was just to show how delusional American women are. They're advising this woman as though they're as though she has her pick of all of these multimillionaires who are just banging out. Well, no, wait a minute. You want to wait for the right offer, sweetheart. There is no this is the offer. This is her first. This is her first and last chance. Well, you know, you got to marry for love. Hang on a second. I'm told that YouTube got cut off the air. Hold on. Uh, still da, playing da, da, da. for me. Yeah, still. I got it. Wait, who said that YouTube? Yeah, YouTube's working. I got it up here, guys. It's all good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, do me a favor, Dev. Yes. Uh, if you would, go get me another bottle of water. We don't have yeah, get me a glass. Get me a glass with ice in it, and then just fill it with tap water. Okay. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Very good. Okay. Da, 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 da. Yeah, Jonathan Vasquez. Try not to freak out. If something cuts off, just <laughs> ask ask somebody else before you before you go making. Uh, before you go making claims uh, like that, because yeah, I'm I'm good. Uh, YouTube is good on my end. Uh, Malik says, uh, "Sharp stream boys, we up, we up." Let's see what's going on on the sharp stream side. Parishitate that. Dre Raven says he probably worked his ass off and missed out on watching his 29 year old girl up. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. I never thought of it that way. Uh, Dre Raven says he may not be currently spinning plates, but he certainly could if he had the time. Right, right. Listen, spinning plates is all well and good, but guys, I'm trying to tell you, man. Sp spinning plates, oh God, I've done it before, and it's it's cool most of the time, but it's I'm just telling you, man, it's not all it's cracked up to be. And it's easy for a guy like me to say, hey, spinning plates is overrated because I've done it before, but pl guys, please, like I've never led you down the wrong path, like please. 
Um, Cigar Man says, how's that liquid death uh, water? It was actually really good. We only had, uh, we only have one. I drink a shitload of water now, guys. I really do drink a lot of water. And so uh, I didn't know that we were out of bottled water. Looks like I'm going to have, that, uh, <clears throat> have to get that taken care of. Um, Dre Raven says, if he's willing to put the cards on the table to have her have his child, uh, you know he has the cojones to have a whole crate and barrels, a crate and barrels worth of plates on the side. Of course, of course, absolutely. Uh, Dre Irvin says, how much do you want to bet? All of these women in the comments are thinking of ways to ask the poster where the millionaire lives. Very good point. Uh, Malik D says, any of these chicks would look, any of these chicks would look up how to have twins with this guy. Yeah, right. Jesus. Uh, J Blaze 11 says, news to the bitches in the chat. She ain't the prize. Nope. Actually. Oh, hell no. I think J Blaze 11 nailed it. He nailed it. These women were advising her like she was the prize. No, she ain't the prize. She ain't the prize. Um, Malik, uh, I'm sorry, Dre Irvin says, I think that women confuse confidence and backbone with narcissism. Oh, wow. You know what? I agree. That's, that's a very good point. A lot of women do confuse confidence and backbone with narcissism. Most of these women probably couldn't define narcissism. They probably couldn't spell it either. Good point. Um, J Blaze Levin says, the women in this chat are, je are jealous bitches. Yep. Appreciate that very much. Uh, Neil Ray on the Sharp Star, or YouTube side says, Donovan, uh, good luck to your Eagles next season. Uh, when you guys had more pieces with the first round picks and free agency, you guys will be dominant. Yeah, we've named Jalen Hurts the starter for next season. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that should be uh, that should be good. Okay. On now to our uh, last topic of the day. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. Where's my... Ah, uh, yes. Kevin Samuels is at it again. Um, and this time, uh, he had a young, attractive... She's very young, very attractive, very feminine girl... Um, on his Instagram live who says that she's too scared or too young to be married. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Who are you? Hello. How are you? Hi. How old are you? I'm well. How are you? Uh, how old are you? I'm 22. I just turned 22. Oh, okay. Uh, Is she you feminine or fake feminine? Because you know how all these girls come on here and they're like, hi. We'll see. Um, she sounds, you can always tell, because if you compare the way they sound in the beginning okay. to the middle and end, we can tell. So we'll we'll, we'll decipher whether or not she's fake. Okay. But we know a lot of women like to do she this. She's got so. some pretty teeth. She do. Her. She's got some chompers, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. Just turned 22, uh, natural hair, young and attractive. Um, so I'm in college, actually, right now. And I just watched. She says she's in college? Oh, boy. Strike one. Strike one. She's in college. So she went to a four-year college, clearly. Um, and as feminine and docile and attractive as this woman is, uh, she definitely got uh, ran through. Uh, her body count? It's over 9,000! Now, I wouldn't go that far, but it's on up there. Sure lies um, for advice um, and just to hear what you have to say and take notes i don't have a lot of experience in the dating realm but Stop the cap. i don't have a lot of experience in the dating she realm. she might not have that much experience dating yeah but she's got experience fucking probably i know that i know that i know she's definitely taking some sausage probably. Yeah, yeah. She's yeah, yeah. done a little bit of Netflix or chilling. You feel me? Not you feel me? Yeah, that ain't lobster, dating. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what it is. <laughs> um, ideally, I would like to marry. Um, I okay. would like to be a wife and a mother. Okay. Ideally, stay at home. Okay. Um, but I do uh -oh. want to uh -oh. build something for myself. Oh, boy. Isn't a family something? <sighs> What are we doing? I, I I don't know. 
What is it that she wants she, to build? She, what she want to build? A she shed? You feel me? Yeah, like what? Ay, what, ay, do, ay. What, do, what, do, what do you want to build? An, a, a, an empire? Are, are we. She belongs to the streets. <laughs> Stop. I mean, maybe. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Before I do that? Why? Why? Hmm? Um. Security? I just. Security? So wait a minute. She wants to establish security before getting married. Isn't marriage security? It used to be. What do you mean it used to be? Well, I just, I think these young generation, like they're just, they, they're marrying, they're expecting marriage to fail. And why do they expect marriage to fail? Because almost every marriage then they're, they're. Fails? Yes. And who files for divorce? Women. There we go. That's my point. Yeah. Is women are acting like they want to. Well, I want to. Um, I want to build something for you know for my security in case something happens. Well, the in case something happens is almost never the man. Women are filing. Dude, women are filing ninety percent of divorces. Like, what are we talking about? It's almost like they want just like this girl. Well, I want to establish myself. I want to create something so that I have a fallback. Then I'll take the chance of marrying, starting a family. And when I'm tired of him, uh -huh. I'll go back to my fallback, and then I'll have, like, my sunset husband later down the line when I run out of money. Yeah, your high-value husband. Fuck out of here. You know, if what? things... Hold on. Listen. Security? I? Hmm? Um... Security? I just, you know, if what's things... The what's the marriage? Ooh. Well, it's just in my mind. It just Dude, would you go buy a new Mercedes and then go buy a Honda Accord for security in case the Mercedes didn't work? No. No. Okay. No, you just make sure you get a good Mercedes. There right? you go. Right. Yeah. Why do so many of you ladies automatically start looking for side doors for security or side niggas security? Fear. I guess in my mind, it's just such a big sacrifice and risk. To sacrifice and risk? What? What? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe she doesn't know, but marriage today, men have everything to lose. Women have nothing to lose. So what sacrifice is she talking about? Sacrifice her I I ability know. to support herself, her fertile no. years, her no. body, no. giving up her earning potential. Okay. And and the carousel. And, That's what she's talking about. And when the, she's the empire. Oh, she's the empire. <laughs> My God. If you ask her, if you ask her, why do you want to build an empire? Well, because I really like baseball. <laughs> Stupid bitches. Unbelievable. Alone is a bigger one. What? But dying alone is a bigger one. Oops! Uh oh. Are your mother and father yeah. married? No. Okay, oh, just boy. raised by your mother? I'm sorry, what did you say? Just raised by your mother? Both parents. Both parents are in my life. Did your, is your mother married? No, my mom's not married. Is your father married? No, my father's not married either. So her mother and father never married. My mother's mother and father never married. And even though my mother was a virgin bride, that, I believe, explains a lot of her exploits. When she grew up, the only successful relationship she saw was between her grandmother and her grandfather because she was raised by her grandmother in Baltimore. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it stands, yeah, so no wonder she was. You know, fucking uh, Air Force and Army niggas all over the base. Mm. Well, she didn't get the opportunity to sow her wild oats, which, should, which is a rite of passage for all young there women you go. these days. So. There you go. That Dude, that's exactly what it is. Um, and Jimmy in Dallas says, what are you sacrificing? What are you risking? And you already said it, Dev. What what women don't want to say is they're sacrificing their, their, their hoe phase. Mm -hmm. That's the sacrifice women are talking about. Women know, at least most women I would think, know, listen, man, you need a man. But the sacrifice I believe they're talking about is just the hoe phase. They're sacrificing the opportunity to possibly find a better man. <laughs> 
Damn, okay, all right, that'll work. How many siblings do you have? I have two on yeah. my on my dad's side. So when you're, well, do you go to? Two on her dad's side. Oh boy. Damn. So her father, her father, was a Tyrone ass nigga. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her family's got more patchwork than a quilt. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus Christ! <laughs> more patchwork than a quilt. Yes. Unfortunately, but here's the thing: this girl actually turned out. It appears to be pretty good. But when we when we hear these things, and I and I was watching this while I was lifting weights today, I didn't catch the part where she said, listen, both parents are in my life. Okay, I guess that's a plus, but she has other siblings on her father's side, which means her father has multiple kids with multiple women. So of course, listen, the only relationship she knows is the baby mama, baby daddy relationship. Yeah. That's why she don't want to get married. Yeah, she can't rely on no man. But, nope. Uh, why would I give up everything that I can do in this life to be... Humble, uh, humble to the man's uh, ambitions, you know? There you go. There uh, you go. Yeah, that's not a way you can... She has no idea what a successful relationship looks I, like. I don't think so. Nope. And it's funny because she's young, she's attractive, she's feminine, she has perfect teeth. Mm -hmm. Like her teeth are perfect. And a lot of guys might watch this and say, oh my God, she's wife material. No, she's not, guys. No, she's not. This woman, the only relationships this woman has experienced seeing are baby mama relationships. Okay, mm -hmm. she, she speaks well, she's articulate, she has her natural hair. That's about the only thing she doesn't have in common with the hood. It's fragmented. It is definitely fragmented. A predominantly white college or an HBCU? Predominantly white college. So when you hear your non-black college uh, students, do you hear them talk about relationships in such negative ways nope. that they need to get a business started before they get married? Do you hear nope. Becky Marisol and my lady talk like that? Uh-oh. They need to get a little something to ensure. When he starts talking about Becky Marisol and Mylene mm -hmm. and Jamila, that's when it that, that's when it's on. In case their marriage doesn't work out. I mean as I mean, the norm as the norm. Uh oh. I mean 22, 21 year olds, 21 year olds. Yes, women. they are non black women. Oh young black women. Non black, non -black, non -black women. Non -black women. Oh boy. Oh boy, she can't. No, oh, she's not listening. That's. Oh man, she has potential though. She ah, she has potential, but guys, she's not going to be able to overcome her upbringing. Oh uh, yeah, she's just parroting at this point. I yeah, don't think she's course. had an original thought in her adult life. She's young. She yeah. young people don't have original thoughts. Yeah, at my age, yes, I you do. You hear the majority of young college-educated women saying they need to have some sort of security before they get married in case it doesn't work out. I don't hear them saying those words, but I do hear them, you know, they have their vision boards. They have things that they vision want. Vision boards? Are, are they, okay. What? The vision boards. What the fuck is this, a is company this meeting? <laughs> <laughs> what, I mean, like, is what this is this? How, wait, 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 wait. Let me guess. This is how these girls manifest oh, their yes, destiny. Yes, is, yes, yes. Uh, it's the vision they, board. They get a Pinterest board and they post pictures of how they want their life to look. It is the vision board. Um, I one thing I, I, I don't disagree and I don't really agree, but I do think it's important that every person have some basic skills in order to provide for themselves of course of you know course. Of course. i don't whether you i don't think you need a phd to do it but at i'm least, a phd but at least something like culinary skills or taking care of children yep. or something along those lines where you can support yourself uh that's i think that's an important for a young woman to have well this is the pro now i agree with you but this is the problem with the broken family Young women are supposed to live with their parents until they get married. That's what they're supposed to do. Okay? Young women aren't supposed to go. I mean, listen, young women can do whatever they want, but how is it working out? Young women go to college, they sport fuck their way through what, eight semesters, they get a useless degree. Now they've got a body count, and their student debt is almost as high as their body count. Where does that where does that benefit young women? The reason why the reason why the traditional 
the the traditional conventional household works is because it's it's more conducive for young women to find and marry a husband that's worth something. You're supposed to go from your parents' house to your husband's house. There's one there, dude. There is one family, one family that I knew um, in a high point, North Carolina. They had like seven kids, and the their I think their second oldest. Uh, I think she was 16 years old when I met her. Beautiful girl. Her name was Jennifer. She was tall, great lines, dude. Beautiful girl. And she started dating one of our friends who went to college in uh, in the mountains in North Carolina. When we heard they started dating, we're like, motherfucker, he won the goddamn lottery. This girl was a, dude, this girl was a virgin and she, dude, even to this day, she is still in love with this guy. Hmm. This girl, this girl, Jennifer, she didn't go to college. No, she waited until her future husband got out of college. Then they tied the knot. I think they got like, like six or seven kids and she could not be more happy. She posts pictures on Facebook with her kids falling asleep in crazy positions or Aww. falling asleep. Yeah, that's all she does. She posts coupons of the day and things like that. Oh, I love cheesy ladies like Dude, that. Dude, and and and, 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 and her and her look is like a fedora. <laughs> she likes to and she's kind of she's kind of quirky like mm-hmm. that. But the point is, and her fa- her father I don't want to give I don't want to give away too too much proprietary information because girls like this are rare indeed. But her father was her father and her mother were very 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 traditional. They did not allow boys who were not related to them in the same room with them. I remember I came over to pick up her older brother to play football and Jennifer and her and her two sisters were in the living room. And so the mother comes in she's like, "All right, you all right, you three go into the other room." And I'm like, "Oh, okay. Well, I, I, no, no. I was like, well, I can step out. And the mother, no, 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 it's okay. We just don't allow them to be in 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 a room with with males who are related to them. Alone? No, period. Period. With, yes, yes. Wow. Period. With men who are related. And listen, I can respect that. I, dude, I respected the hell out of that. Ooh. But that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah, it is. It's and, you know that's a lot of work for the parents. Too. It is, but it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. It's totally worth it. And I can promise you, Jennifer, looking at all that's going on, she's probably like, Jesus Christ, thank God for my parents. Wow. Majority of non-black women at college at the P- and Jennifer was white. PWIs are looking for security blankets and side doors. And side. Are they looking for marriages? They- <gasps> Mr. DG four fifty six ten dollars super chat. He says, "Sorry, Donovan, that hair isn't natural. She's playing with it way too much. While she may be a young and cute seven, the blacker, the berry, the faker, the straight hair. Oh no, y'all! I don't know. Is this? Oh, there's no way. Is this? Gr- Does this girl have fake hair, dude? I don't know. If this hair is fake, I give up." I give up, man. Oh my it's god. It's okay, it's okay. No, no, no. This is not okay. It's okay. It's going to be okay. No. This is not okay. <laughs> I cannot believe this. I was dude, does every black woman have fake hair? All right, chat, let me know. No, let me know. Not everyone. We're my w- sisters, I mean, my sisters wear their natural hair. Yeah, we were watching uh, Insecure last night. Oh, no. Oh, Neil Ray says he's got a point. It's fake. How do you guys know? Oh, my God, everybody. Oh, my God. I think because of the way that it's sticking straight up and then going long, maybe. Because oh it's probably, God. like, sewn in. Oh, my. Dude. I don't know. I can't, dude, I swear to God, this is fucking witchcraft. Look at this. Everybody, everybody agrees. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Holy schmo, holy moly, man. Jesus. All right, well, looks like I'm wrong again. I can't believe this bitch has fake fucking hair. What are you doing? You're 22. You're, you're 0 for 400. Dude, I've, I've, I never get any of these right, <laughs> ever. I think I'm just I think I'm just going to say, hey, she has fake hair, and I'll probably be right most of the time, yeah, right? Yeah, probably. Oh, my God. Mr. G456 uh, says, the fine feel of Brazilian weave. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Uh, Malik D <laughs> gives me a, a cake, says, at least you tried. Yeah, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Dude, I swing and miss it. I'm never going to get these right. The way it looks unnatural. I swear to God. 
I thought the bitch, I thought the bitch had real hair. Unbelievable. And it sounds like you know more about fake hair than I do, but wait a minute. How do you know about fake hair? How many? My trainer's you've been black. Fucking, She's oh, 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 that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, she does. She does. Uh, Jimmy in Dallas, $5, says, uh, the blacker the berry, the faker the straight hair, said, I'm dead, fam. Uh, yeah. The blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Black pouch are talking about their careers they are i went to a predominant i go <laughs> neil ray says it's okay donovan one day you will learn i don't know man i don't know i really don't like every time i think i get one right <laughs> malik d says we need a compilation of donovan misdiagnosing we <laughs> that would be great dude oh jesus fucking christ <laughs> we need we need a we need a compilation of that and then my reaction when i find Your out head? i'm wrong no. i'm like no there's no, no. way Oh my God, she's got Allen Iverson hair. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know why I just don't. See, this is why y'all know I don't be in the hood because I don't know none of this stuff, man. All right, let's Those continue. Were predominantly white college. You, you need some black friends or something. Say what? You need some like black female friends. They'll, they'll put you up on game. I was going to say, I mean, I mean I've got Sister. Kevin. Kevin's, Kevin's a good friend of mine. No, he's Myron. a female. Oh, female friends? Oh, yeah. um, you know, Hotep, we'll see. Hotep Jesus. Uh, Myron's a sample from Sudan. Uh, yeah, I'm not really friends with black. I'm not really mm -hmm. friends with women, period. Yeah, that's true. So, yeah. You yeah, you have be. rules. Uh, uh, yes. If, you, if I'm, listen, if I'm friends with a woman, if I'm you hanging either, out with a woman, I'm either trying. Can, can I do it? Go can ahead. I do it? He's, go either, ahead. he's either trying to fuck him, fuck, fuck, them, fuck them, have fuck them, or. Am fucking Am her. fucking them. There it is. Yes. Wow. Okay, see, Devin, Devin knows. Let's continue. I remember that from the old school days. Yes. Next Laura's great group of married women of 54%. Sorry, young lady. Uh-oh. It doesn't, it doesn't compute. She got it wrong. Every opportunity to be reasonable. I mean, I'm telling you the truth. So, um, what kind of, but let's just go down that path. Oh, here name? we go. I am studying communication in French. Oh, so boy. a useless degree. What kind of security are you going to make in the next seven years? Oh, here we go. To provide you for a lifetime in case your marriage doesn't work. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Man, it's and the reason she laughs is because she knows he's right. It's a simple man. Okay. You're getting a yeah. degree in communication. Go ahead. See, people, these these poor girls, like they're told to study what they love, like you do what oh, you're, you're passionate, passionate about. Yeah. No one ever says, figure out how much you're gonna make annually after four years of studying this, and then figure out what you want to do. Oh you know, God. it's it's like this is news to her that her degree is useless. Like we know. It, she, everybody knows it, but her man, she's about to get a rude awakening. Um, the cigar man says her hairline is way back. Uh, Neil Ray says the hairline and the side, they, uh, the side they what they stick oh. up and unnatural. She's consistently messing with her hair. I, okay. Yeah, she's making me mess with my hair. Like. Oh, okay. That's just, she's giving me like a tick or something. Uh, Dre Raven says, uh, did her hairline just shift? Oh my God. Team mm. Peterson says it's unbeweavable. Oh boy, that's a you. That's a you joke. Dev mm -mm. likes to make. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh my God! Communication, communications in French. Oh boy! All right. <sighs> Which is useless. Humanities. I swear to God, that looks like real hair. I don't know what. It's not a high. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. See, now I got now now I got now so, I got to hit the. Man, it's a simple man. Okay. You, you're getting a degree in communication, which is useless. Humanities. It's not a high income generating in French. I can't do it. So what are you, what would you be qualified to do in the work world that's going to pay you enough money to where you could stock, stock away residuals? Kevin, she doesn't know what residuals means. Let's, let's dial it back a little. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, I respect what you have to say. Oh boy. That means I disagree. Yes. <laughs> yep. I respect what you have to say. Translation, I disagree. Listen to Dev with the uh, on the ball woman. He's useless at all. Oh, here we go. Listen to what she That's says. What you have to say, what I'm doing is not useless at all. Oh, boy. So what she, so she says um, it's not useless at all. Um. Oh, my God. 
Let's let's hear it out. Let's hear it out. I asked you a question before you monologue. I asked you a question before you monologue. What's your monologue? What, What's your question? What are you going to be doing in the marketplace uh, after graduation that's going to pay you enough money to where you can stock away in residual income for a future? Well, as of right now, I'll probably um, have a job associated with the federal government. Uh huh. What are you going to be doing? <laughs> Specifically, I don't know that yet. About how much money? Do you well, think she you better know. With After communications and French, she'd be best going into the armed services. Yeah, but that doesn't pay shit. Doesn't? Yeah, and then she'll get ran through just like she got ran through in college. Yeah, but at least a stable job. Wait a minute. They're saying that her hairline shifted. Let's see if we can find the hairline shift. All right, hold Digital on. income for a future. Well, as of right now, I'll Damn, y'all got some eagle uh, eyes because I don't see it. I think they're with messing the with the federal you. government. Uh huh. What are you going to be they doing? They might be. Specifically, I don't know that yet. About how much money do you think you'll be earning annually? She doesn't know. After gra upon graduation, entry level. To start off, probably 60, 70,000. Oh my what? God. What the hell is she talking about? These people are delusional. I swear to God. She got no idea. Maybe, oh, Kevin Stalliner. Maybe with 15 years experience in a specialized subfield of communications or French or both. Uh, Team Peterson says lace front, but it's moving. God damn. <laughs> Y'all are some weave. Y'all are some fucking PhDs and some weaveology. I'm going to tell you what. Now, what communication degree? No. The average communication student is making around 35000 to start, man. Ooh. I do this in real life. Oh, okay? boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Where is it? Where, how many jobs you plan on working? Oh, shit. This is a trick question. As many jobs as I need. How many jobs do you plan on working? Got a career. <laughs> See, what I'm trying to what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is it's one thing to say, I want to I'm, I'm afraid of marriage because it might not work, so I need to get me something before I get married. Okay, right. let's talk about how that works. And y'all act like you can go to a, into the work world and you're competent enough to earn enough high income as a salary entry level. You but don't. what's wrong then with listen, that? Listen, what's listen, listen. That? What's wrong because it's stupid. Oh! It doesn't work, and I will break it down with the man. Put your feelings to the side and talk to me like a business person. Okay. He's asking way too much. Ma'am, you have... He is, but these are the questions that these women need to be able to answer if they want to pursue this kind of thing. Like, they, it's all just, it's all just, um, it's all just talk. But Kevin breaks down the math. A uh, cigar man says she's got more tracks than the Daytona 500. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God damn. <laughs> Bitch got more tracks than Formula One. Those are humanities. That's not... Shout out to Max Verstappen. ...a high income skill. Lewis Hamilton's the GOAT. You'll be, you'll be entry level in any job. Uh-oh. Do you have student loans? Yeah. Yes. Approximately how much student loans... Federal, lo federal student loans. Approximately how much debt will you be in upon graduation? Um, no more than... An under under 15000 Stop the cap. Under no more than fifteen thousand. That's cap. That's cap, guys. Hey, maybe she's going to uh, community college for communications and French degree. Nope. Yeah, nice try. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Dude, these women lie, and there's no way for Kevin to prove that they're lying. So he just he just has to go with what they say. Well, I mean, okay. I'll, I'll tell you, I. Oh, you went to community college. I went to community you? college. Okay. I did about three years. I got an associate degree, and then I got. Uh, halfway to my BA in environmental science. And how much did it cost you? Um, well, I was lucky because my, my parents did the prepaid college program there oh, in Florida. Okay. So that prepays for the college credits. But okay. you have to pay for your books, sure. lab fees, things like that, and okay. everything else, which uh, which I worked full time and went to school, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. often two jobs, because I had to come up with that extra whatever wasn't covered sure, by that. Sure, sure. So... I ended up taking student loans out for my last two semesters, mm -hmm. and it took me 10 years to pay back $7,000. <laughs> 
That was only seven thousand dollars. She's talking about fifteen. She's, she's been to college for four year degree. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no fifteen thousand dollars. And not only that, this was twenty years ago. Yeah, so get up out of here. I, yeah, 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 yeah. She, listen, her, her, her. Yeah, her, her. The math her, doesn't quite work. It does in her not favor. add up. No, it does not. It doesn't work in her favor. She's lying. Stop the cap. So you'll be coming out of school earning around average middle class money. Mm -mm -mm. That's it. You're not qualified to do anything else. You, you have to, you don't get paid upon potential. You get paid upon compensation. Uh -oh. I mean, upon, uh, competence. competence. That's right. You will be working 40 hours a week at a job, entry level. Where are you going to, where are you? It looks like he's starting to, do you think he's starting to get through to her or no? Or does she, is she just looking for a response here? She seems, it seems to me like she is having a hard time understanding that this isn't the right decision that yeah. she maybe have made a mistake because everyone told her this was the right thing to right. do. And for the first time in her life, somebody is telling her like, it's the wrong thing. Yeah. Uh, this is stupid. Not only is she, not only is she financially invested, she has ego invested in this, oh, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's hard for women to admit, Hey, you know what? I fucked up, but guess what? You don't have to sooner or later. Stack additional money. That means you got to go get a part-time job. Uh -huh. And that part-time job is just going to be hourly. That's right. So in essence, what you're saying doesn't make any sense. I don't have the time or the skills in a five to seven year window oh, to stack anything substantial. If you had a part-time job that was paying $15 an hour over, and that's a thousand hours a year, over five years, <laughs> $75,000 after taxes. If you maybe had 50, if you would cap it, maybe. But that's not realistic. No, of and course not. $50,000 last year. My point is. I don't know. If she's got that weave, probably not very long, right? Uh -uh. And she gets her nails done, too. And she gets the nails did. She's to, her, nails stay, her nails stay on point. Uh, Jimmy in Dallas, uh, $5 says, Facts, they should read Worthless by Aaron Clary before they go to school. I would agree. Yeah. In our culture, I need you guys to think. I asked her, if you go to a predominantly white institution, how many non -black She went to a predominantly white institution. She is way more than $15,000 in debt. Black women are looking for security in case of marriage or relationship doesn't work. If she really... This... Excuse me. She really wanted security. She wouldn't be going for a degree. She would be learning a trade. Yep. Because there's people. There's certain things that will never go out of style. The economy will always need. If you really want to have that fallback. Early child development. Yeah. I mean, even things like cosmetology where yes. she can cut hair. Yes. Like, I've got a friend. That's all she does is go to people's houses and cut their hair. She yes. She didn't own a business, but that's what she does. She makes a damn good living. And she living. makes a really good living, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. like there's, and that's also how my mom got through tough times. Yeah. Was she cut hair too. So, I mean, I don't, if it's culinary school, if it's if you're a pastry chef, something that communications with a with a concentration in French. Uh, are you going to work for a radio station in Haiti? I don't. And even if she did, they're probably not going to pay that much. I don't think so. If they don't chop her head off and <laughs> feed her to the goats. This is one of the biggest twists on the black community. Uh-oh. Our women have been made to think so about marriage and relationship in such dangerous ways to where that you are, you are, you guys are cultures to be independent. There's Woo! a huge viral thread going on right now. Talking about Latinas are raised to be wives. Black women are raised to be independent. Oh, yeah. that's it. Holy moly. Wow. Black, dude, Latinas are raised to be wives. Black women are raised to be independent. There's just one problem. You can never be independent as a woman, unless, of course, you're making money in the top 15 to 20%. And even right now, with a communication degree in French, you know your income potential initially is not going to be high. And you don't have unlimited hours. So you'd be, t you'd be a vanity ego project, make a few thousand dollars. Would it not be better to learn how to work with a man for a lifetime yes. and make sure your marriage doesn't fail? Yes. As your how about that? Wow. Imagine, dude, imagine that. She needs a, a, an AA degree in home economics. Yes, something.
and not needed a parachute or a security blanket. There it is. I you know what your parachute and security blanket is? It's cooperation. It's femininity. It's staying fit. Ideally, yes. So not what ideally, ideally. Not ideally. Not ideally. 80% of divorces are filed by women. Oh! Get her bald bull! Oh, shit! God damn! Where did that one come from? You don't know who Bald Bull is? No. What? <laughs> is that your spirit animal? <laughs> no! It's not my spit. That's Bald Bull. Do you know who this is? Piston Honda. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I was saying that was a new one. Unbelievable. I cannot believe bull? you know who. You never had an Nintendo. That's why you don't know. No, I also don't have a penis, so I wouldn't really. <laughs> wouldn't really know. You ever heard of Soda Popinski? No. Mr. Sandman? No. That's going to do it for this edition of TSR. We got to play. We got to. I got to get you playing Mike Tyson's Punch Out. No, the old don't. school. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Listen, you're not going to get half the references. Oh, my goodness. You've never heard of the. You've never seen Bald Bull? No. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, put a one in the chat if you think that Devin should be initiated no. on Mike Tyson's Punch Out. You want to know what? I'd actually like to see you play it live for the first time. Mm. That would be awesome. You should get me and Pearl to play each other. <laughs> that would be, be funny. The whitest. That, oh my God. <laughs> white, ty white Tyson's punch out. <laughs> Jesus. Now, ideally, you ladies leave. Okay. So what you're saying is, graduate mm -hmm. in a few months, I should, I should just be on the hunt for to work for a man that I'm with. Yes. We're on the hunt for a husband. We're not, we're not yes. Saying, yes. Man. On the hunt for a husband. You're still, well, she's still young and attractive, although she really just needs to just grow out her real hair. She needs to be not in the, on the hunt for debt. No, you need to be on a hunt on the hunt for a man. It looks like the chat wants you to play. Oh, Mike Tyson. Uh, Mike Tyson's punch, punch out. Yes, 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 yes. Is absolutely. it anything like Street Fighter where you just push all the buttons really fast? No, it's a little different. Oh. It's a little different. Um. It's very simple, but it's very tough. Okay. Yeah. Like, I don't think you'll have a problem with Glass Joe. Von Kaiser is going to kick your ass. Okay. But if you beat Von Kaiser, then Piston Honda is going to kick your ass. Noted. Yeah. So, oh, no, noted. Translation, I don't give a shit. Mm, it means zero to me. <laughs> you will respect Piston Honda. I God shall. Thank you, behind us because we don't have black families. Ooh. 80% of our children Ooh. are born to single parent houses. Oh. Wow. Damn. Every generation is starting over. When your your mother and father, are they going to pass you down any inheritance? Yes. Okay. How are they passing down inheritance when they were never married? I thought inheritance was like a lost art. Do people still do that? I don't know. People are lucky if they have enough to retire on it. It's got to be her mother leaving her an inheritance because her father yeah, is a, a philanderer. Bunch of kids, yeah. Uh, Hellfong says uh, Devin will lose to Glass Joe. I don't think so. Is Glass Joe like the weakest character because he's got a glass jaw? He's the. Well, see now you're thinking. Now <laughs> you're thinking. She has potential, ladies and gentlemen. She has potential. Do you know how uncommon that is? You know where Glass Joe is from? He's from French. He's from France. Yes, he is. Okay. Yep. They have Joes Very. in France? Maybe Jacques. Yeah. Uh, Glass Joe. Because we don't have family. There you go. So while at 22, the first thing you said about marriage was, well, I need to get me something as an insurance blanket uh -huh. in case it doesn't work out. Uh -huh. But other groups are like, well, shit, I'm going to get married. And it's going to work. Because That's right. they know relationship is the key. You guys have made it, you guys think you're the key. You got a degree in communications and French. Do respect, man, that's not heart surgery. It's not a high income, guaranteed high income. Mm -mm. Sure, it has the potential, but the probability is low. You have to have, I mean, federal government consulates, whatever, man, so many that that's up so unlike oh my god dc is literally young women like this that's all right who are working part-time at starbucks because they get mm, out mm, mm. wow this is facts 
and they don't have this is the first time she's hearing this you yeah. can tell because she yeah. looks shell-shocked have the relationship skill so even when i said you said so you're telling me as a young woman i should get out here and hunt for a man to become you talk about relationships in negative there ways. you go yeah. there it is defensive way there it is where's the optimism i can't wait to be a wife and a mother and be with a man to build and build another that it's yeah. all it, it's, it, that's the way our culture works Think of relationships in, in, in restrictive terms. The well, I, she's like she despises the fact that she needs a man to have a family. Yes, that's right. That's right. Eesh. Yeah, I mean, God forbid, right? Not as much as you have in this conversation, but I'm very hopeful and I'm very optimistic. Uh, hope and optimism only works in the movies, sweetie. First thing out of your mouth, undercut everything you just said. So you oh. can say that after hearing everything. But I challenge you to go back and listen to this segment and look in the comment section. Uh oh. I just respond to what I heard, man. Okay, so Why at 22 are you? Why at 22 do you need a side door or an emergency plan? Um. About to get into her mentals. I guess, like I was saying, in my mind, it's a huge risk and a sacrifice there it is it's risk and sacrifice well that's what it takes to be in a relationship there, on both well, sides there you go so i mean you don't think a man is taking a risk and a sacrifice by by by, by wife and her up come on if, if that's negative then okay it's um, a huge risk man but it's know, a risk we've been together five years right yeah so we both risked a lot. Yes, you would we say. did. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we both put a lot. a lot on the line. Yep. What do these young people think that relationships are just one-sided bets? Easy. Because women are raised to believe that they're the prize. They're raised to believe that if they give up the pussy, if they even allow a man, if they grace a man with her presence then he is indebted to her. And any extended presence she extends to the man demands some sort of immediate compensation. So by marrying a man, or God forbid, having a child with a man, in her mind, that puts her in debt. That's why she characterizes a, a long-term healthy relationship as a risk. As a risk. That's exactly right. But whatever happened, like, the biggest risk was getting her heart broken, you know? Like... You got it. Nothing is free. You've got no. to, you've got to give to get. That's right. That's right. Women don't want to give to get. They don't want to give to get. Uh, they want to get it all for themselves and then be able to have that escape hatch out the back. It's it really is a shame. But this again, this is why this is why the dating market is a shit show. Meaning, if the marriage doesn't work, right? That's the risk. If it doesn't work, if it fails. If it doesn't work, if if the person turns out not to be who maybe stop right there. Stop right there. If if it were you saying something? Mm -mm. Okay. Doesn't so like I said, do you go buy a BMW and buy a Honda Accord just in case you buy a bad BMW, or do you make sure you get a good car? Yeah, just get the this Honda is what Accord. I need you guys just what now? Just get the Honda Accord. Oh no! No 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 you can, no no! You can replace them parts. Oh no no! What what? Wait wait! Hold on now! You talking about women getting the Honda Accord? That, so so you're telling yeah, them to that, date aver date and marry average men? Yeah, the Honda Accord will hey. last you 15 years. Hey, Pay it hey, off hey, in hey. five, drive it for 10, give it to somebody. Okay, somebody but kid. you understand what he's talking about. What Kevin is what yeah, Kevin is talking about mm -hmm. is is a not a low value man, a man that's not high value. Women ain't trying to drive Honda Accords. They're trying to drive the BMW, the Lexus, the Mercedes. The McLarens, the Lamborghinis, the Aston Martins, because they feel they deserve it. I feel like I deserve a Lamborghini. Wow. I, wow. I don't, I don't want to drive no motherfucking Honda Accord. You're missing that memo. No, listen, I don't want to drive no Honda Accord. Check. I love the black woman. Yes, sir. I want to say that the black woman Tell is the queen of the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. She is the mother of civilization. Well. That the black woman is the goddess of the universe. Well. The blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. And for that reason, she will never, ever, ever buy a Honda Accord. And that is the problem that we are facing today. You guys understand, our women never really are committed to the primary relationship. Nope. They're more committed to college, nope. jobs, yep. themselves. Yeah. When you, statistically, females, 
Eighty percent of divorces in our community uh -oh. filed by black women. Black women are twice as divorced as they are married. Oh! So when you say ideally and all this other stuff, if the women in our community stop filing divorce, what kind of marriage rates would we look like? What we have? That's it. That's it. She ain't got no answer for that. It's a lot easier to pull the parachute and hit the escape hatch than it is to work through some tough, tough, some stuff, tough stuff and stick it out. Um, Pierre Fitzberg says, nah, she's too good for Honda Accord. She should get a Toyota RAV4. Okay, guys, let's do it. I guess if we're going to go down that path, what kind of car, what kind of car does this woman deserve? Do you have any guesses? I'm going to go with... Um, if she grows out her real hair, she could possibly get an Acura. I was thinking, of, I was thinking about a Kia. Oh, shit. Or like a Hyundai Elantra. Oh, my God. What? They're good cars. They last a long time. Yeah. Not, not the nicest interiors, but, you know. Yeah, but, I mean, listen, listen. She's still young and attractive. That mm -hmm. counts for something. She doesn't have any kids that we know of. If she grows out her real hair, she, I give her an Acura. I give her Ford Fiesta. A Ford Fiesta, God damn. She's young, maybe like a, a Prius. No, like no, no, a, no, 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 Dev, 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 Dev. We're not talking about her youth. We're talking about her sexual market value. Yeah. So. I know. So you think her sexual market value is all the way down? Uh, listen, I mean, she has the fake hair. If she grows out her real hair, I give her an Acura. I give her an Acura. Integra. TSX. How old are you? <laughs> I give her an Acura TSX. Seriously. They don't make those anymore either. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Never mind. We're, we're, just, we're, we're, we're clear. Oh, 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 we got a 1999 Cadillac. We got a Geo Prism. Okay, yeah, oh, the Jetta. I could, I could see the, the Jetta. The Jetta. Yeah, maybe a real, maybe, I don't know, maybe the Volkswagen Tiguan. Definitely not an Audi, but. Uh, how, but about a, how about a Mitsubishi Eclipse? No, man. I think she's, if she grows out her real hair more than, more than the Mitsubishi Eclipse. I think, listen, Acuras are luxury cars, but they're not on the level of a Lexus or Mercedes. I'll, yeah, I'll they give are. Her... Acuras are on the same level as Lexus. No, they're not. Acura is to Honda as yes, Lexus, Lexus is, is, to is to Toyota. Toyota. But guess what? Lexus is sell for more than Acuras. Do they? Yes, routinely. Okay. Yeah, Infinities or Nissans. Yes. Right. They're, I always put them on the same level. I like Acura. I like Honda, too. So. But you'd rather I'm drive. You'd I'm, rather I'm, drive I'm, an Acura than a Honda. I'm speaking with my feelings now. Yeah, yeah. She belongs to the streets. Six <laughs> percent of our women are married right now, right? Mm -hmm. We have a fifty. Oh six, no, we got a 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse because it's about as broke down as her tracks are. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we got a Dodge Neon. Oh man, come on. listen, you guys, you guys are killing me. <laughs> You guys are killing me. <laughs> Nissan Versa? Come on. Man. Maybe I'm giving her too much. You're talking about a Kia Optima. God damn. <laughs> I gave her an Acura TSX, man. Black Male Media says she can get an Infinity. She, listen, if she if she grows out her real hair and rids mm -hmm. herself of this mindset, she's 22. I don't know. I heard Infinities last forever. They do. Uh, Jay Blaze says her father was a firebird. Yes, he, her father. Yo, her father. <laughs> Her father was definitely a Pontiac Firebird from the 1980s. You better fucking believe it. Yeah. <laughs> 56% divorce rate. 80% of those are filed by black women. So 8 out of 10. Uh, so, arguably, so? let's just call it 50-50. If, if, if you have 50 divorces out of 100. Oh, boy. If 80% of those divorces are filed by women, that's 40. Uh -huh. If we cut that to 20%. By my man, that means we'd have an additional 30% of marriages. That wow. means black marital rates would go from 26 yep. to 56%. You'd be just as married as white men. Oh, shit. Stay in your marriages. Stay in your relationships. Learn that you need a man. Men aren't optional. <gasps> no, the fuck you didn't. Uh-oh, look at the look on her face. Look at the look on her face. Does this look like a... You know what? I think she might be... I think I might have to downgrade her from a uh, an Acura TSX to maybe a Toyota Camry. Right? Look Cor at the look on her face. Does Corolla. it... Mm, yeah, look, look, look. 
the look on her face does not say that she likes the fact that she is being told that she needs a man. Man, oh man. Maybe look at her. Is. And dude, it was not a dude, it was not a flash. It wasn't a micro expression. She is Unless, keeping this expression. Oh boy. Unless you know you're going to be in the top 10% of all female earners for a lifetime. A man is not option. He Ooh. is absolutely required. Ooh. You won't make enough money. No, the fuck you did. And who wants to live their entire life alone? Anyway. Well, nobody, but, you know, she's a strong and independent woman. Yeah, that's such bull. Who don't need no man. I understand that. I agree with that. I do. A hundred percent. Do you? So, no. I nope. get it. So, where we're at this impasse is this whole ideally, it's, well, if I get she the wrong the man at this, or do you have what it takes to stay in a relationship for a lifetime? Do you have what it takes to stay with one man for a lifetime? Do you have, not, not him, not ideally, do you? And what it takes oh boy. to wake up every day and decide to stay with your man for a lifetime. Nope. Yes. I... Stop the cow. Hell no. Because if she really had what it take, remember when they asked, when I put the question on the screen, hey, is Donovan the same person off screen? You're like, yes, yes. he is. Yeah. Yes. Like you knew what the answer was. Mm -hmm. He asked her, look how long it took her to answer this question. Watch. Man for a lifetime. Watch. If I get the wrong man at this, or do you have what it takes to stay in it? This is the look of a woman who is now second guessing her her priority structure. She has to she has to stay in there and keep fighting because this is like she's ego invested. Like th th her whole life has led up to this point. She can't abandon it now. She's got way too much in it. But you can tell by the look on her face, she's like, uh, I never really thought of it that way. And even though she's gone to college and she's probably not, she listen, she's not as dumb as that other bitch. Mm -mm. But she's she is intelligent enough to understand the economics of this. And even she is starting to see, you know what? The math doesn't really add up. A relationship for a lifetime. Do you have see that? He gave her space to answer. And yeah. she looked over to the side, so the answer is nope. what it takes to It stay. looks like it's the most distasteful thing she's ever that's yes. ever crossed her mind is yes. wait, the same person every morning of my life? Oh my god. Look at the look on her face. Y'all listen, man. A this is why black this is why most black women are single. She wakes up with an eject button next to her bed. Real talk, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, man, this is why sisters are single. This is why, dude, this is why the top niggas ain't choosing y'all. Because y'all ain't choosing them. Like, dude, black women are so bent out of shape. When, when niggas, when they make it or they make something of themselves, they go and get a white girl. Why are y'all mad at us going and get white girls when y'all aren't checking for us in the first goddamn place? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't need a man. I'm strong and independent. Why is he dating a white girl? Wait, what? Fuck out of here, man. With one man. For a lifetime. And it took her all day to have, answer. Not, not him, not ideally. Do you mm, mm, mm. have what it takes to wake up every day and decide to stay with your man for a lifetime? Nope. Yes, I do. Then that's all you need. Then that's the only security you need. Because whatever you think you See, she still doesn't buy it. Because she's agreeing to think that men ain't Yes, men ain't shit. Yeah. Niggas ain't shit. Well, That's what this is. Guys, what you are watching, what you are watching is a real life struggle between a woman's delusions and reality. She's been told one thing her entire life, but then a man who everybody respects is telling her the opposite and it's making sense to her. It's making sense to her. That's why she's looking up that's why she's looking up trying to think of a of a clever rebuttal. She can't because it makes sense. Income, that's just money. Go ahead. I agree again. I just I I also think to add on as a young black woman, there's just a lot of hesitation. There's insecurities to make that step and actually do that. Um the type of men you're talking about, mm -hmm. just like the type of women you um, 
are hoping black women aspire to become mm -hmm. are rare. That's also a reality. That's what makes them valuable. <laughs> the feminine, beautiful, and inspirational women are rare. That's exactly what makes them valuable. So what is she talking about? I, I think that's a circular logic. I think yeah. she's talking to me talking. I think maybe that weave is too tight. Prior to 1965, ah. we were married at a rate of 80%. And no, and we were not college educated back then. Oh, we were just average working class people. Yeah. She belongs to the street. Eighty percent, Jim Crow segregation, slavery, I mean, lynchings. Eighty percent. My question is: the insecurities you have as a young black woman, uh -huh. where do they come from? Oh, here now it's about from to get real. From what I see around me. Who? How do you hear media? There it is. You see what Kevin's getting at? His mind exploded because he's about to tell her your source is wrong. Watch. Just watch his reaction when he when 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 he when he figures this out. Watch. From what I see around me. Watch. Look at Kevin. He's like, what? Wait. Ooh. 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 How do you see? Kevin's point is that TV, media, your mama's friends, your auntie and them. They're not giving her good advice. Media. Uh, um, yeah, but males are, no, 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 no. Where are you getting your information about relationships? Here we go. Directly, Dur from women or men? Mostly from women. There it is. That's it. This is why, this is why her mindset is fucked up. Cause she's getting a relationship advice from women. Thank you. There it is. So if men ain't got nothing to do with your insecurities or your fears, this no. was put into you because you, because it's- Look, 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 look. She knows he's right. Look at the look on her face. She's like, holy fucking shit. My mind is blown. She, she, this is the first time she's like, wait a minute. Maybe my insecurities were sort of bred into me. Look at her. Yeah. This is the look of a, this, the look on this woman's face is the look of a woman who has been, whose entire structure has just been shattered her entire mindset is being challenged unlike it has ever been challenged before and the longer kevin talks to this chick the more sense it's starting to make from mostly from look at women. her she's like oh shit if women change the way they talk in view relationships it would change your inputs uh, well what about the men speaking no ma'am no ma'am you what you see here the problem what, see, what she's going to try to do is presume that the reason the women are talking that way is what uh, men do it. No. Oh, there it the is. Numbers no. don't, okay, hold on. I'll let you, my, my point, I'll make, make my point. Men don't leave relationships. 54% of black men there you are go. single and That's child, 61% right. in the middle class. And I'm in that 54%. The divorce rates and everything is the only thing gone. Men file divorce two out of 10 times. Women are filing divorce. The point is, is that women leave relationships, not men. Most of the time. Women control how relationships are talked about. That's right. And prior to no fault divorce, uh -oh. well, women actually couldn't just divorce because they didn't like it. We had community. Now J Blaze Eleven on the Sharpstream side says, "Did she ever ask her father what to do? No, because her father was steady putting babies in other bitches." You know. We used to have a community that supported marriage, and when you went through hard times. The community, your family was there to help you work through those hard right. times. And even now, like on Reddit or, you know, if anybody has like any minor indiscretion of he leaves a toilet seat up, oh, divorce him. That's it. That's a red it's flag. Like the first, the first advice to people now is leave. You deserve better, girl. Yes. You this, that, that's, and she's never had an example of someone who actually working through adversity. Most and, women don't. Most you, women haven't, Dev. Most women haven't. Like, most women have never seen people work through adversity. That's why the only thing they know how to do is leave the relationship. Not only that, they've got bitches steady in their ear. You deserve better, girl. Just like you said, you deserve better. You there, There's better men out there. There's other fish in the sea. Mm. No. there. Listen, there are plenty of fish in the sea. But <laughs> those, th dude, those are goldfish. <laughs> those are guppies. Okay, like listen, there's other fish in the sea, but you ain't gonna catch another marlin there, sweetheart. Yeah. You could. Uh, Basil Denson, two dollars, says I give her a 1990 Suzuki Cultus. I've never even heard of that. Damn. Stay or go based upon anything. You don't even have to go to a judge or anything and say there's a reason. This irreconcilable difference. Yep. 
and you said it yourself. Look at her no face. No matter how it comes. Look at her media, face. Media, television, culture, you are taking your cues from women. Mm. Ooh. Men can't fix that. It looks like a pinto. It does. Look at her. Look. It Yo, this is making too much sense to her. She keeps trying to think of a rebuttal, but she can't because it's making sense. They can. Oh, the chat's on. And if you think they can, please tell me how. Uh-oh. I think that, you know, I have a balance of... Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. You know, healthy women role models. Oh, and boy. Male role models in my life. But when I, like... Like who? Take inventory of my friends, for example. Like, I don't think enough men add their voices to the conversation and i don't know if that is because women are so outspoken or just you know are hammering their opinions but i don't think when that your friends when your friends talk about relationships you, i'll tell you one thing when, when women talk about relationships other women y'all don't challenge it y'all just believe that's all right i left him because he's an asshole he's not well you don't question him. you just nope. believe, y'all believe all women but the numbers, ma'am, the numbers. Well, I don't, but... Well, I, but okay, but... I don't. Clearly she does, though, right? Mm. Clearly she does believe all women. Otherwise, she wouldn't have such a negative outlook on, 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 on relationships. Am I wrong? Well, women are taught that they can't rely on a man for anything other than for them to screw up. Black women. But you get what I, I said it, she didn't. Fuck I'm saying. I get it. I am not speaking on black issues ever. So <laughs> Do you not think that in bridge. our culture black women talk about relationships in positive ways? In they don't. They don't. No. Of course not. And in a free country, we can't make y'all do anything. No. Hell so no. So if women get their cues, if women like yourself get cues from other women and y'all don't check the women and question the women and vet the women, you expect men to say, men have been saying it for the longest. We're not right. doing this stuff. We didn't do that. But then we still get bills, 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 scrubs. I don't want this, da, 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 da. Uh -huh. so now, and you got one man who talks, and how many times are they trying to cancel me just by having a conversation? Mm. That's right. But the, but the funny thing is, women who look like you and show your reflection are losing because you're the most unmarried, unprotected out here by yourselves yeah white is i think he is starting to change i think he is starting to make an impact on her mindset watch her body language here watch this she is nodding in agreement watch thing is, see women who look like you and show your reflection are losing because you're the most unmarried unprotected out here by yourselves white hispanic middle eastern look oh man married. she hates that he's right they got families oh, we got one more we got another one natural networks to to do business, to deal with, to pass on wealth, more opportunities. We got individuals. Right. Oh my God. Okay, and you're saying that we're the most unprotected, disrespected, uh -huh. etc. I said, uh huh. Or what? What? Whatever. What you just said. Um. Mm -hmm. As a result, you know that's why a lot of women are the way that they are. That's ah. Women are bitches because they're not protected. No, sweetheart. This is not a chicken and egg thing. Black men have checked out. Well, the top black men have checked out. Don't date black women anymore because black women showed that they don't want protection. I what This woman has sat here and said, I don't need no man. She has told us this in no uncertain terms, yet she's going to say, well, the reason why black women are bitches is because men don't want to protect them. Sweetheart, men do not want to protect women who want nothing to do with them. All we hear is all we need is your money and your sperm. Niggas ain't shit. Y'all blah, 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 blah. But then you get upset that we don't want y'all and y'all want protection? Fuck out of here, man. Uh, Jay Cowan, $20, says, black women, <laughs> I'll say it. Hell yeah. I can be Don DeMarco for that. You're Jay Blaze Eleven says, "If I have a daughter and she ends up like her, I'll eat a bullet. Uh, you and me both." Oh, don't say They're not unprotected because the men don't want. No, no, man. Excuse me. Uh, oh. They're not unprotected because the men don't want. No, no man. Excuse me, man. Stop talking. No, no. Uh -uh. Eight percent of divorces nope. are filed by women. 
You're unprotected oh. because you leave your relationships. Oh! Uh oh! That's a TKO. Honda, uh, Piston Honda says, I'll give you a TKO from Tokyo. <laughs> yes, he does. But there you go. The reason why women are unprotected is because they choose to be unprotected. They're the ones leaving relationships. Men can't make women stay. What no. Power do, what power does a black man have over a black woman to make her do anything? None. So if you choose. None. How long have you watched my content? Uh-oh. A couple months now. Go. Team Peterson said, this is the prime example of a black woman. She just got red-pilled in real time. I'm telling you, regardless of what she says from here on out, I can promise you, I think her mindset is going to change. I think so, too. I think Kevin Samuels has saved a life she's here. She's going to start questioning the dialogue, the, the narrative that she's yep. been living her life by. She is. She is. Because she started out, you know, relative, and she's still feminine. She still sounds the same now as she did. She does. You know, so she's that. not faking her femininity. It appears that she there is a there has been a shift in her mindset. Go back and watch video after video no and listen to all detected. No see through detected. No, no, like there is no hood right in her. There really oh, isn't. Talk about how they were married and you asked who filed for divorce. They me. Why? I wasn't happy. Ooh. See? <laughs> Most of the time, ma'am. Just divorces. Look at the divorce. Yo, look at this. I'm gonna play this with the sound down. Guys, what you are about to see is a woman who is pissed off. She is pissed off. She's like, these fucking bitches have lied to me for 20 some odd years. Watch this. Just watch. Watch. Watch her face. Just watch her face. Look, she's like, oh my God, I cannot believe this shit. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is a woman. This is a woman who has been, re I, I agree with uh, whoever that was. Uh, da, 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 da. Team Peterson, I believe this woman, I believe Kevin just changed this woman's life. He just changed her life in real time. We are watching her mindset set what? shift. Look at the divorce filings. You can do your own research. Go in your state oh, and look at your Yes, yes, yes. He's got her. Look at it yourself. He's got her, man. How is a single woman supposed to be protected and provided for in a world? What is a woman's mm, baseline mm, mm. provision and protection in a society? Marriage. Um, Come can on. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you want to know? You want to know something? And I believe this is legit. She's like, can you repeat the question? Because she's now rethinking everything. Mm. She's rethinking her entire life and her entire mindset. She's like, holy fucking shit. Mm. I just wasted the last four years of my life. I'm 80 to $100,000 in debt, and it doesn't mean shit. I believe she's changed. That's why when Kevin was going through all this with her, she was like, wait, I'm sorry. Could you repeat the question, please? Female, a woman, in any society, mm -hmm. is an individual woman's baseline protection a man Thank Boom. You. when you're a young woman your father and the men of your family but when you're an adult woman it's supposed to be your man how many of our women are standing without a man oh my god by choice 76 percent three out of four Look at this. That's why you're the most unprotected. Oh, my Not God. because men have failed and black men don't want relationships. Woo -wee. Because you ladies lack what it takes to be in and stay in relationships. Yo, he just saved this because woman's you're life. always yeah. thinking, well, it could not work. Ideally this, ideally that. This is not yeah, limited well, to this just... This is not limited by race. No, I agree. There, there, listen, there are women of all races who think this way. It's it's just the most prevalent. The percentage is higher with uh, with black women. Because, listen, the fact that 54% of all white women are married, that's still fucking low. That's only yeah. half the women. Yeah. But, dude, when you get to the black community, it, dude, it's 76%. Wow. Three wow. out of four unmarried. It's insanity. And it's so funny how when they're, they're young... Well, I don't know if they, the women still do, but you know, being married was an accomplishment. Yes. Like you, like you, you, when you're married, you're chosen. Somebody, you know, like it. That's that's a, something to be proud of. And yeah. now it's almost like I found someone who I got to marry me, and I'm so strong. I left them. Jesus Christ! Right? Man. Yeah, yeah. 
And if this woman were 32 instead of 22, mm. this conversation would have gone very differently. I think so. And the fact that these women are divorcing because they're quote unquote unhappy. Unhappy. Aye, that's, aye, aye. I mean, happy is a fleeting emotion. Yes. Yes. I mean, I, I, some days I don't feel happy. I don't, you know, go jump off a bridge. Yes. Or say, then, I want to yeah. leave. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, yep. the, you know, it, it shows like a, a, a lack of compunction you yeah know? Like no i'm with you st- st- stick to itiveness yes yes <laughs> but the fact that she, the, the reason why this is getting through is because she's young she just turned 22 that's the only reason why this is starting to see through real life i talk to women every day and more often than not women are leaving relationships for no good reason wow To the point to where I'm talking to you at 22. Wow. And I will be honest, when I was at university, I would listen to young women of other races happy. First, freshman and sophomore, freshman and sophomore years, they was out joining sororities, rushing, of course. Phasing, doing all that other kind of stuff. They were out there bad. Black girls were getting in relationships. For junior and senior year, these women all gave up all that. They start looking for the guys who were going to medical school, law school, whatever, getting married, finding out boyfriends, and getting engaged on the way out of college. Being married between two and three. Damn, look at her. Look how excited now, she looks. Women, when I was at work, every summer, it seemed like they were always going to weddings. Always going to weddings, always being in weddings. You know what I saw black women doing? Going to the club. Oops. Uh oh. There were no black women going to weddings. Because black women, at, when I was in school, junior and senior year, they were leaving their relationships because I'm about okay. to graduate. It's a trash people. I'm about to go out okay. the world. I don't want to be tied down to this. I got an option. I'm young. Because they were told by... There are no rebuttals. She, dude, she's out of rebuttals. Like, Kevin has destroyed her entire illusion. Execute order. Oh, there it is. You don't need to be tied down to your college boyfriend, girl. You got your degree. You're going to move to your new apartment, your new city. You need to get out there and experience the things. Uh-huh. Then next thing you know, the one, two, three, four, five years didn't happen. You went... Oh, seven shit. Years old. Oh, my goodness. Becky Marisol and my lady been married two, three years. Got their first child or something. Mm-hmm. Now you, 27, 28 years old, starting to look down 30 and like, well, dang. And all you've been out here doing is hot girl summer and party, mm-hmm. Cabo, Jamaica, whatever, whatever. Men are not as frequent as they were in high school and college. All you see is the men at your gym, your apartment complex, and a few guys in your office building. Relationships become harder and harder and harder to get. Oh, man, he is red pilling this girl. The women you went to college with went to go to school for, they worked for a couple of years. And then next thing you know, they leaving because they got pregnant. They working for their husband. Black women are working longer because they got no husbands. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get her. Holy God. Yo, he just, and the fact that she's not saying anything means that it's starting to stick. Mm-hmm. I've seen this my entire life. Okay. So you at 22, when I hear you talk about, ah, it's too much of a risk. I'm like, no, 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 don't do this. Don't do this because watch, go back in my channel and listen to all these women over 40 who would say, I wish I could tell this young lady right now, mm. stop thinking relationships are such a risk and recognize the relationships are what you want. There you go. Okay. That's a 180 degree switch. Yeah, there's no greater <clears throat> risk we're again, taking. Again, let's finish it out. Unless you know you're gonna be in the top 10% of earners, because I give this example. If you're making fifty thousand dollars a year, and here we go. If you got a call, he's about to break it down to her mathematically. This will be the this will this will th- this is it right here. Finish here. adjustment. This is what's going to solidify it. Keep up for inflation. You're making fifty thousand dollars from twenty-five to sixty-five, and you have a life expectancy up to eighty-five. It's twenty-year retirement, and you stacked away two hundred dollars a month mm. over that forty-year career. You'd have a seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars shortfall in your mm. retirement. Oh wow! Meaning you're gonna need anywhere from one point nine to two point four million dollars. More, retirement. more. You don't get there by one person. You need two incomes and a family. Countries are not set up for single individual people to live by themselves. There you go. That should scare you to death that you think 
with a communication degree and a French degree, that I'm safer out here by myself. Mm. Than my husband. Oh my God. No other group of women are moving like this. They're with their men. Mm. Mm -mm. Y'all are out here making other people rich, standing alone, feeling unprotected, and then getting mad at. Yo, she looks like she's feeling some type of way now. She looks like she's feeling some type of way. She's like, these fucking bitches out here have done told me. And this is what we talked about before. We actually talked about this on Not All Women. For whatever reason, older women don't want to help younger women. They seem intent on purposely leading them astray. They don't. Th th these women know that living this hot girl summer life and this and that, they know it leads to destruction. Yep. They're steady telling bitches, nah, do what you got to do. Go out and fuck all these niggas and settle down later. But now this girl is now thinking, you know what? Kevin is right. This is fucked up. Black men, for, yeah, we're unprotected. We can't make y'all decide to, to, to do right. Y'all got to decide to come back and be with your man. Mm, mm, mm. That's your original baseline protection. She's got a nice mm -hmm. uh, bed. Uh, all right, uh, good conversation, though. I think it was good. You. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. She's probably like, I'm tired. Okay. Yeah, I think, uh, so, uh, I guess to close out the show, uh, do you think, uh, do you think you got through to her? I think you did. I think you did. Yeah, she was looking like she was questioning all her life choices at the end there and was about to really start to wonder what the motives are for getting inv the advice that she's gotten her Absolutely, life. absolutely. Um, if nothing else, uh, she'll at the very least question, she'll start questioning things. Um, and she'll start watching Kevin's uh, content probably even more intently yeah. and watching some of these interviews because at some point she's going to realize, okay, I've definitely been sold a bad bill of goods. Neil Ray in the chat says she's feeling like she got duped. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Lakeith Evans, welcome to chat privileges. At Lakeith Evans, Lakeith S. Evans to welcome him to the TSR uh, family. Um Put your age and location in the chat. Age and location in the chat. Um, for those of you guys joining us late, today is a very special day. This is me and Devin's uh, fifth anniversary. Uh, five years ago today, um, I told Devin that I was moving to Philly and that she was coming with me. And um, it's been, uh, <laughs> it has not been all smooth sailing, but uh, I think it's been, I think it's definitely been a net positive. And uh, who knows? Here's to another five years, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? All right, that is going to do Wait a minute. Hold on. I got to get to it. <clears throat> that is going to do it. <sighs> okay, there's Dev on the camera. That is going to do it for this edition of TSR Live. <laughs> Guys, be sure to follow me on TikTok, Instagram. Uh, I'm back on TikTok, Donovan Sharp, MCU. Uh, we will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Understanding women and increasing your dating success starts with Donovan Sharp's massive collection of award-winning books and courses. Get off to a fast start and jumpstart your masculine renaissance with the 49 Laws of Sharp. The 49 Laws of Sharp is the perfect quick start guide for any man new to this community looking for the answers that keep them up at night after a bad experience with a woman. So many men ask themselves, why did she cheat? How could I not see this coming? Why did I miss the signs? And how can I avoid this in the future? The 49 Laws of Sharp will answer these questions and many more. This will give you a rock-solid foundation upon which to build, develop, and cultivate your newfound identity. 
and put you miles ahead of your competition. Most men have never had access to this valuable information, let alone understand and apply it. But the 49 Laws of Sharp will give you an unfair advantage over men and women. This treasure trove of valuable knowledge is available in audio, video, ebook, and paperback. Next, supplement your newly acquired foundational knowledge, supercharge your dating life with Donovan's 25 hour course, How to Master the Game. How to Master the Game will teach you the ins and outs of the player life overcoming approach anxiety, identifying women who you want to approach, text game, first date principles and logistics, avoiding the friend zone, and so much more will be covered extensively. Also included are the bonus podcasts that will cover how to dress, Tinder game, and much more. Put simply, How to Master the Game will turn you into a stone-cold assassin with the ladies. Available in video and audio format. If you're not the kind of guy who wants to live the bachelor life, or you've had your fill of the player life and are looking for something a little more fulfilling, how to build a quality woman from the ground up is a must. Donovan's five-part, seven-hour audio course will show you step-by-step -step how to find, cultivate, and sustain a solid, healthy relationship. Everything from selecting the right woman, to coaching and correction, to what to do between the sheets. How to build a quality woman from the ground up will guide you through the entire process of building the kind of woman you want and need. The strategies and techniques in this course are exactly what Donovan does in his own relationship to this day. And he is living proof that women can be beneficial to men provided they have the right instruction. And finally, the ultimate weapon all men are looking for in terms of being able to read and understand women, Donovan Sharp's revolutionary one-of-a-kind course that has been called the cheat code, Womanese. Womanese is the first and only course of its kind that gives men the raw and honest truth about what women really mean when they communicate verbally. Womanese translates female communication with shocking accuracy and has changed the dating lives and relationships of men the world over. So many men have avoided disaster because of the preciseness and sheer volume of material in this course, which contains over 600 translations. How cool would it be to be able to see through a woman's BS and act accordingly right then and there, rather than getting blindsided when it's too late? What would it be like to have the ability to read a woman like a book based only on what she says? These abilities will be at your disposal with womanese. Women won't be able to lie to you, cheat on you, deceive you, or take advantage of you. The time and money you'll save pays for the course almost immediately. Womanese is available in video, audio, ebook, and paperback format, and can be purchased one volume at a time or all at once. Men in his community often state that the best investment a man can make is in himself. Donovan's extensive educational materials will take your life to the next level. And the only place you can get this life-changing knowledge is tsracademy.com. Link in description.